Yeah, oh yeah, of course cool. you were on the first show. Don't forget, I was on. You were on the first show. First show, I proper loved that. Yeah, you weren't on that first show, bro. Yeah, you oh, were. I man. was watching. Yeah, you were watching. You fucking idiot. I was thinking you definitely <laughs> weren't on the show because we don't do fire no, boxes. Don't your life, Bradley. You as drunk as I am. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a fucking great show, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I've been on it. I've been on it since three o'clock this afternoon. Have you really? Oh, that's pretty good. Do you know Snap? Oh, God, man. I like it. I like the... That, that, that just shows some brilliance. Yeah, bro, you're normally on it at three o'clock as well. No, I wish you I was. Oh, you mate, you have been storming it with your um, the, the, the TikTok stuff. I have been proper loving it. My kids have been loving it as well. Oh, really? That's cool. And they know the songs as well, you know, a bit of Beatles and the bits you've been doing as well. What's that little man's name? Oh, that's Bert T-Box. T- Bert T-Box. We're going to bring yeah. it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is going to be... I feel, like, I feel like chat just trolling us every week now. They're just it's not listening. Not. Favourite type of show is when it's a... Track. We can hear you, says Nick Smith. Right. Okay, I'm going to roll intro. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got to tell one off last week. It was real quick. We're live. Literally live. We're literally live. They can see all our smiling faces. Just hands. Yeah, just hands. Welcome to the new home show. I hope you've got your scoop of gear because tonight... We are having a deep dive. It definitely like sounded like you said scooper there, and then scooper just carried gear, on through snorkel, <laughs> wetsuit, dry suit. Ah, I should have brought my snorkel. You're going to need it. Richard doesn't even know my wife either. <laughs> How does this work? I do. <laughs> <laughs> you, you think those are your kids sleeping upstairs? Oh, let's not do this. That's that's really that's bad. Thing about it though, Bradley, you know when when Richard starts talking really quiet, you know his kids are asleep in the next room. Yeah, we can't yeah, one through there. there. Yeah. Uh, so welcome to the show. We of course have little bro vapes back on Aiden from episode one. We said we'd have him back. It was brilliant last time. It was wicked. But because he was here with Paul last time, we didn't really get to delve in. We didn't delve in. And that's what we like to do with our celebrity guests. Yes. Uh, So we will delve in a little deeper this time. Uh, We've also got loads of news. Loads of news this week. Not that much new stuff because of Corona. Uh, But we've got a few new things. We're we're calling it something else now. And they've kind of swayed away from that. (laughs) I'm not. CGI 19 or something. Yeah, that sounds right. That's not going to catch on, is it? Uh, um, corona. Make, oh. make the poor folk think of beer and they'll remember it. Uh, so that's why there's less China stuff, but we've got a few things to show you. A few things. Cool, 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 cool. Keep that on. <laughs> uh, so there's that. So we're gonna do we're gonna do some news. We've got some new stuff. We're gonna ask Aiden some questions as well. Um because we want to know. We want to know stuff. We need to know stuff. And we've got a very hot topic to finish up with as well, uh, which we've been chatting about in the Facebook group for uh, this afternoon and this evening. So, perfect times, perfect times. Let's crack on. Uh, Brad, what are you drinking? What are you vaping? Hello, darling. I'm drinking on the red Elvis juice. Brad, what Uh, time did you start drinking that from, though? Uh, uh, well, that I just opened, but I've been drinking red wine since three o'clock this afternoon, so it's going to be a fun show, <laughs> or a train wreck. You decide. I like it. I, I like it a lot. Still using Old Faithful, and I have yet to figure out how to make this thing focus on it. But is this is my EVL from the beautiful John? Not that John. EVL John. Not. Not that John. It's called EVL him EVL John. John is the best. Uh, yeah. EVL if you can't focus on it, just squint a lot. <laughs> <laughs> You've got the... It can focus on you. EVL <laughs> twin. Oh, yeah. The EVL twin from the beautiful John. And inside here, I have got cannoli, actually. Okay, which one? Notes. He's got notes. He doesn't know what it is. <laughs> B1. 
Oh, B1. Cool, 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 cool. 15. It was mixed up. Yeah, 15. It was mixed up three months ago, and it's been mellowing nicely. That's good color for, for, for yeah, three it months. Too dark. No. Yeah. Well, no, I, I let, so it sits in the dark. I have a yeah, thing about it. As long as it's sat in the dark. Yeah, nobody uh, believes me when I tell them I it's supposed to be sensitive. They just oh, go, no, I don't think so. about right. it sitting in the light. They yeah, don't. It makes it go dark. I tell everybody not yeah. to do it. I don't want... It doesn't change the flavour. It just makes the fucking no. nick go off. Stop putting it in the bloody window. I don't want my liquid to look like... like fucking don't tonic. wank my liquid. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you fucking... Someone knows what I'm talking about. Anyway... I'm going to throw this uphill and say, John, darling. Yes, sir. What you vaping? Um, what uh -huh. you drinking? I got three today. I've gone with the three, a combo of three. I'm um, going to have to upgrade. Like, I've always only got one. <laughs> well, I've got three. There's always more way off the shop. Oh, I'll treat you, Brad. There you go. Look at that. He's laughing. Um, I, uh, I have an Endura T20S with a. G O S in a kind disposable tank, Ooh. which Ooh. looks like that. This both of those things are from Richard. Ah. He sent me a load of pod systems, and um, uh, they all sucked. But this I quite like. He wasn't isn't surprised by that. Um, the, there was a couple I was really surprised by. The one that came with flavor pods, uh, the Yearn from UL. Yes, um, I tried the apple, which was f fucking disgusting. And I tried the mango, such a snob, which was fucking disgusting. Juice and then I snob. thought, I'll go on to the vanilla tobacco. And the vanilla tobacco, I, I promise, I reached so many times, I couldn't, I couldn't catch my breath from taking one drag. I was just going Hit! for about three minutes. <laughs> they, uh, I, that I just, is awful. I still think they should go in your suitcase. In what way? I oh, what? Just chuck them in, just in case. Yeah, we just because oh, the, the perfect emergency. No, if all else fails. You just go. So, can we get on that a little bit later on about the disposable tanks? Can we talk a little bit more about? Yes. It? Yeah, of course, we can. definitely. Yeah, it's fine. Um, but for it's now, a great thing to talk about. I've got the air put turned off, um, and it's nearly a mouth to lung. Even with the air turned off, it's not. I don't, I have not made a review for that. Uh, in a can go s um mm -hmm. kit simply because i don't get it i don't get what it's for what do you mean oh, i don't see how it's any different to the endura no oh apart from that you throw it away yeah and the yeah, battery's but, bigger well, yeah but it's an 18650 you can throw an endura it? away if you really want no but it's got a, an 18650 with a a tumor control board of some sort of stuff on the top is, is that sometimes how you review then? So if you, if you think it's not got a point, you won't review it, or if no, I mean no, I mean it's genuinely slipped through the net. To be honest, occasionally the occasional things slip through the net, and by the time it's on, it's available to do, it's either too late, or I still don't really get it, or I had a really bad time with it, or oh, there's nothing to it like this. I haven't done this. I'm going to do a written review for this next week. Um, right, it's a written the, review, review. Yeah, I quite like the idea. I'm gonna put it in my community thing and put it on Insta and everything. It's the eGrip oh. Mini, but there's just nothing to say. There's nothing to it, and I just don't know what how I would do. I don't know how I would manage five minutes of a video with it. Is is obviously I watch a lot of your reviews. So I've always loved all your reviews that you do. And um, <laughs> is that something you do? Is that you don't actually review something you don't want to review? So okay. Uh, Okay, so I don't accept anything for review. So anything I do get is unsolicited post. <laughs> so I don't owe anyone a review. Uh, I try and review as much as I can, um, but people send it on the off chance that I do a video. So if they get one, they're happy. If they don't get one, I, that's kind of how I've done it for a while. Um, yeah, so I haven't, I haven't told Joytech I was going to review this, and now I'm not reviewing it. Um, they just sent it without asking. Um, so, yeah, it's a funny one. But they're still gonna get. They're still gonna get a little. They're still gonna get an Instagram. Still gonna get a Facebook post. They're still gonna get a community post. So you know, it's not the end of the world. Uh, but I will it's, say it's there are not enough to that. There's just not enough to that kit to actually do a video. I don't think there are vape shops in Sri Lanka. It's I've got three setups that I'm taking. I don't think I'm gonna have any problems. I've got 
300 mil of liquid. I you think I'll be on. Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. I'm going on Sunday. Fly to Sri Lanka Sunday. I quite, for the record, I quite you like the sexy apple. Sexy bugger you. Hmm. <laughs> Quite you did make the mistake there. You nearly said because I was going to get proper sake. My favourite mistake whenever you say you go somewhere, someone goes, so lucky. I was going, yeah, we want it in cornflakes. It's just, you know, <laughs> luck of the... When you're all going to get luck, cornflakes, luck eh? the you're going to get bingy bargy bomb. I, oh, no. <laughs> Uh, we, my my wife got a uh, deli belly when we were in uh, went to India a couple of years ago. Uh, it will, it will, people make jokes and they're like, "Oh yeah, you just have a bit of a funny tummy for for like a week." Uh, it's it's like life ending. It's like three weeks. I mean, it's so lovely. We don't you want know, to set the show off totally in the bad thing, but if your wife gets bengali bargly bolly all the way for the front, that means you're getting nothing all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> just honestly, because uh... it's the front, it's the back, it's the back, it's the front. Um... <laughs> Nothing. What's the do, Sri Lanka? Do you know what the technical term for that is? Uh, they've had they've the had Sri one. Panty. <laughs> they've had one. <laughs> they've had one case, and uh, the, he's and, it, and he he's cured. So no, there's it. They, I think they banned flights. Uh, I think they banned inbound banned inbound flights from China. As Everywhere well. I should do that anyway. Well, they've got it's an island, and it? it's quite it's easier to control. I know we're in Ireland too, but the very it's a lot smaller. Uh, right, I'll go tell you what I'm actually vaping. So I've got that, and that's got a uh, crack current in it of 50 milligram. I've got 50 milligram lemon crack in the Dvar 16 on top of the Geek Vape Aegis uh, X. That's quite good. Uh, and then I've got not mad. I've got 25 milligram piss flash in the uh, billet box Red Four. With uh, the thing I can never remember the name of. That. Richard, help me out there. Um, it's a billet box, that. Yeah, what's the insert? Who makes it? Can't remember. It's the dildo. It's the exocet. It's the insider. No, it's the one with the it's with the, the vowels the... taken out. Oh, it's the karma. <laughs> karma. Karma That's bridge. Back to the bingly barley belly. <laughs> Karma bridge. You see the dildo joke about the exit. I got in trouble for that when I first made that joke because that is Why? what um, it's what Rose West called her dildo, wasn't it? Exit. So, yeah, I know. I got in trouble for mentioning it, but I was every time somebody oh, Rose mentioned Rose West had a dildo called what? An exit. Mate, totally off the top of my head. That I thought it'd be something built in the wall or something. But <laughs> every time somebody mentioned the exit, I posted a picture of Rose West <laughs> smiling, and I I got in trouble. I thought it was really making me laugh. You're but... going straight to hell for that one. There's no such place. That's why I don't mind making the jokes. It's, it's we're, fine. We're, we're all going to be there. It's all right. There's no such place. It's fine. The Romans made it up. Stop everybody wanking and fucking each other. It's easy. Don't worry about it. Didn't work. We were on about that tonight. That's so weird. We were on about the Romans really? and how much they had sex. It was just great. Well, they, they literally, they added to hell. It, it, it is actually, it was added to the Bible 400 years after it was written. So when people tell you, it's like they kind of go, no, no, there is a place. There isn't. Even they didn't think there was. They just added it. And we're... Obviously, we don't, we don't want to go down to the Philip Schofield sort of thing. No. We, we, we sat down, I'm not saying nothing about that, but what I'm saying is, if you look back at the Romans... Yeah, oh, there, yeah, was, yeah. there was no big delineation between men no, and No, no. no if, if Philip Schofield had come out then, they'd have gone, what? Who cares? That's not a thing. <laughs> Do we yeah, like it? Me and my dad been throwing that game for a while. It's amazing though the, the the way you look in the past of, of how they run things, how, how things are so blasé. It, it, it you don't even matter. you don't even have to go back far. Like I, there's yeah. ridiculous stuff. When I even think back to the eighties and people like say stuff and you're like, holy shit. Well, the the eighties still had a little bit of religion hang to it, so it was still a little bit bad <sighs> to have. I, I was sat there in the eighties with your brother. It, it, I love the eighties. <laughs> But I remember when I remember when they rounded up. I remember I was a Cub Scout, and when I was ten years old, they rounded up the pedos. Honestly, it was like it was a devastation of the Cub Scout movement. Yeah, <laughs> was, but then you're like, now who's going to take us kayaking? That, that was literally what it was. Everybody was like, "Where's that nice guy? He was really nice guy." Everyone called him like Uncle Balu. Where's he gone? Yeah, he's gone to he's gone to fucking jail. And they were like, and it was like every other one went to jail. It wasn't like three. It was like all of them. <laughs> it was like saying, look, sex in a in an actual, um, I would say, beanbag. Bean bag. <laughs> not the thing he did it. No. He sat down in your actual um, sleeping bag, but it was it was it was really hard until he started breathing on you. Yeah, <laughs> it was really hard. <laughs> this is the biggest tangent we've had. 
Oh, it is really bad. Oh, it's bad. Where right. are we? Uh, you, we're still uh, on the best thing about it was we oh. went to Romans. <laughs> it's to Scoutmasters. How did no, you get to that? Well, it's easy. It's the connection, isn't it? It's Catholicism. A lot it's of like... Italian, <clears throat> a lot of Italian Scoutmasters at John's. <laughs> yeah, loads. Smock and Joy Tech for you. <laughs> <laughs> Brad, have you love... finished? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd finished. I'd done mine, and I'm I drinking. Up to John. I'm drinking pipe. Uh, 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 I'm drinking punk IPA. Aiden, <laughs> never ended. What? <laughs> what are you drinking? What are you vaping? I'm on the punk. Yes, good man. I'm also on the uh, artery. I would have had the ah, Solomon as well. Got Barbara. yourself a pseudo Duncan. little box. Wait, nice. I love the parrot. <laughs> also got the blue one, but the drip tip drops off and you lose it in a taxi when you're really, really drunk. Oh, really? Yeah, that's one of them things. Um, but yeah, I've got the parrot, as I call it. Absolutely lovely. Inside that, I've got some of the wonderful, you lot might not like it, but the double drip. Nick Salt's uh, mango and raspberry ice cream. Nice. Um, then I have got um, the cold steel, which I really do love. Yep. Solid. Uh, absolute fantastic mod. Nice feeling in your hand. And on top of that, which we're going to talk about a little bit later, and I think we are, um, the actual Kelpie RDA. Ooh. It's on top, lovely. And in top of that, I have got some of the off the record liquids. Strawberry watermelon sours, which I quite like. D didn't you just review the Kelpie? Uh, yeah, I did, yeah. You loved it, didn't you? No. Well, yeah. The thing is, it's a flavor. We'll talk about it a little bit later on. Do but it now. It's a Do flavor it now. banger. The, Do it the, now. There's other things wrong with it. If you watch a review, you're always going to get a, an honest review from me, even though Vic is one of my friends, and I don't care about saying that. Um, the thing is, it, it's got problems, but the flavor from it, I don't know about yourselves who's ever tested that's it. A, that's, exact, it. that's exactly what I said. It vapes. That's exactly what I said. It vapes fine. There's a myriad of strangeness, but it vapes fine. And it, it's dated. Fine. The thing is, it is dated. It's 2015. It doesn't look modern. Um, the whole look of it, um, the machining fits underneath that people had problems with. But the flavour from it, for me, is absolutely banging. I, I've yep. got no problem with the flavour. Yep. So we'll, we'll talk about it a little bit later on. Uh, we've got the um, two and one from the Aegis, you know, the Swank. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, it's basically a solo, isn't it? Yeah, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Love it. Absolutely love it. And I've also got the um, Falcon King on top. And in top of that, what They don't get mentioned. Falcon tanks don't get mentioned enough because they they are used so much mm -hmm. outside the, by nor, by regular people. Falcon tanks get used a lot. Regular people. You know, one well, of my customers. When I get customers in the shop, they've got falcons. You normal know, people. Like a posh end people coming in. Your normal people. No, 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 no. I just get normal right. people. Normal people. <laughs> you know, I know what you mean. We have to use the phrase normal people because I ain't never used them. But I agree with John. I see it. All yeah, the time yeah, yeah, yeah. in the street. It's a cracking vape. It's a cracking tank. Mm -hmm. it all uh, time. Another one that you did as well, Richard, was the um, the was it the, what, begins with an R? What they did? Oh, what were they called? The um, not the Falcon. The um, oh god, what is come that? to me in a minute. It came from Horizon Tech as well. They did it with EH Pro as well. Oh, right. oh. oh the Raptor. Oh, Raptor. The Raptor, yeah. Raptor, another good tank. Uh, but this is the the Falcon uh, King One. And I proper love that. It's all the coils in. A nice M1 in there as well. What have I got now? I've got some King Kong. It's here. There we go. Is that some a banana? King Kong. And this stuff, I really do not like. Um, That's you know, it. Like Move on. <laughs> I don't really like it. <laughs> I don't, no, I'm not into that King Kong shit. Um, but we've, <laughs> this one is the uh, blueberry pancakes. And this is quite nice. Oh, good. So it's not that's not your usual vape like that. No, not by far. I'm a menthol man. I love yeah. menthol. Um, I, I like anything to do with. Uh, like I've screaming. got it down now. In, in the shop, I can break it down. As soon as come, somebody comes in, which way I'm going to swing? Like trying to sell them something. Do you kind of say because <clears throat> there's, there's, there's basically two camps really of people who won't touch a thing. So you go, do you like things with vanilla in? And they go, no. And you go, do you like things with, that are minty or menthol in? And they go, yeah. And it basically it's that. There's two camps. The best one you could ever get was a uh, Mako Yatsu Bolt. And it was, um, I sat down there with a cool fire four with an ice sub tank going about roughly about 30 watts. 
and it was the best ever flavour I've ever had. I could do 30 mils in a day easy. Wow. And you know when you've actually sat, ever sat down there and got that vape that you wanted? I have never, ever come across anything that's really gone and rung my bell and gone, that, that's the perfect setup, perfect taste. I because just... you know when you're a reviewer, yeah. you're constantly testing stuff, you're doing it, and I've never had anything as good as that. I had to stop putting uh, Cannoli B1 into review gear because everything I put it in, I just went, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Because <laughs> I just like the juice so much, I was like, "Well, yeah, it's fine. It's good. I like that." <laughs> Didn't I say? Because I sent you like I can't remember enough to make up like a half a liter or something. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. Yeah, that was good. That's great. Uh, so I went back to just like a generic custard. Don Sullivan really thinks thing. that yeah. girls only smoke menthol. I I know. Yeah, that's. I, I would like to bring to him that we don't smoke. We actually vape, brother. Yeah, and I only I I nearly or nearly exclusively vape menthol. I love menthol. Yeah, wow. it's one of the things it clears you out. I do. I like the hit. I, I think it's got a, <clears throat> that. It just kind of defines the hit. I only touch menthol when my, my sinuses are so fucked that I can't breathe. I don't like menthol, but I like. I don't mind a really nice minty one. Yeah, I know what you mean. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, uh, yeah, it's a kind of weird thing. I used to smoke menthols when I had a cold, which is, that is the typical yeah. smoker's response. I am not feeling well. Give me 20 consulate. Thanks, man. I feel like shit. 20 mil menthol when I'm sick is because I used to smoke menthol when I was sick. Yeah. 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 It didn't work, though. There's no, nothing worse than being poorly and smoking. Oh, it was awful. And you couldn't, it's not like, you were like sad, but still smoke it. Like, there was like, it was like, does that not make your throat worse? Yeah, it does. Why are you still no. doing it? And then I don't they came care. up with them clicky ones, didn't they? I, I'd already quit. Was, I thought if I don't really want to be poorly, I could <laughs> then click them. <laughs> I, want, I want a passion fruit flavored fucking cigarette. Like, let me just squeeze this ball. Do they have a passion fruit one as well? Did they? In, Af in, in Africa, they didn't bring them out yet because they were so fucking bad for you. <laughs> like, the English were like, no, 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 that's going to kill you in like a week yeah flavored tobacco is illegal anyway <laughs> think about it though we all sat in down Africa, there and right woke up now. in the morning didn't we and coughed his tits up with all that black gunk that came out of your mouth mm -hmm. i'm sorry to be graphic but that's what we did <laughs> it only came out when i quit i was like i was like what's his name uh, john coffee from the green mile when i finished smoking <laughs> It was fucking horrible. <laughs> All the sins of the world came out of my lungs. Richard, what are you, what are you vaping oh, me yeah. drinking? Well, I'll keep mine brief. Um, <laughs> sure, uh, Cup Scouts. I've got the clutch. I've now put on a sexy button. Oh, you got a new, did you get one? Change that out. Sexy button and tip. Look matchy, matchy. That's the advantage of having signature tips on a project, isn't it, I guess? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it's true, true, true. That's the thing. Oh, that's, this is an RDA for vaping. Uh, that is the next nice review RDA, on the line. Yeah, pretty cool. We did it on the show, didn't we? I think I sent you the shots over when they came out with it. Yeah, it ages ago. And then I talked about it very briefly last week. Yeah. Um, it's got a lovely deck. Who doesn't? It sounded dirty. Um, yeah, so that's a thing. Uh, and it's, uh, yeah, that's the next review. And I think, it's, yeah, I think it's looking quite nice. Looking quite splendid on there. In there, I've got... Pressy from Deep Rooted, and I've got this as well, and that's got can only be breakfast in it. And nice. I'm drinking the uh, MVP. Drinking a Belgian. Yeah, MVP. yeah, the MVP five. This is. Oh, it sounds like a 1950s kitchen. Does done it. Yeah. It's, yeah. It goes right next to an old alarm. Baker on. life toaster. Stella, <laughs> little Belgian number. I'm going to send you some fucking decent scotch. They also call that wife beater for next week. They do call it wife beater. It was mentioned on the show once, and uh, um, they don't call it that in France. Brad removed his. Uh, the sleeves. only time I drank that fucking beer, I got so much shit for it, I tore the fucking sleeves off of my shirt. But Vic can drink it all fucking. No, so you just call it uh, Le Lac the wife. <laughs> yeah, but it's because he's up north. He's allowed to drink it because he's, he's expected north. to beat his wife. He's, he's north, north of north. me. He's southern. He's north of. He's north of me. He's up north. Yeah. <laughs> Who's that? Who? I'm Richard. A... Richard's not a northerner. I'm Richard's... In, just outside Leeds. That's definitely you... north. Oh, sorry. Are you actually in Leeds? <laughs> yeah, I just don't sound like it. Yeah, where'd you where'd you originally come from? 
uh, a little place called Huddersfield. You must have gone to a proper post school, you. You're not. There's no way. Obviously, I'm proper. I don't know. Normal. I don't know why I don't. I have... come literally twenty. Well, I don't, I don't know, obviously I don't come know twenty miles. Voice. I could come twenty miles. That'd be a good. There's to only. I will just say, from a southerner's point of view, there's like a gnat dick difference between your accents. Yep. Yeah. Are yep. you joking? Yeah, like no. no. It's 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 mad, isn't it? It's mad. There's <laughs> my dentist is a big West Indian fella, and um and he asked me where I was from originally. And I said, I said here, and he said no. <laughs> <laughs> Just carried on drilling. <laughs> you know what the difference for me as a foreigner is between the two of you is, Richard. I understand every word, but I have to think about it. <laughs> in in your case, I'm, I only understand every second, maybe every third word. I'm <laughs> when you talk, I'm fucking making it up. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, Martin. That's that's the trouble with you. you see. <laughs> <coughs> when, when I, it's the same as I watch your videos, I think fucking know what's happening. <laughs> Dude, yeah, it's a, it's def- a, it's a, I always thought you were down south. I know. And it, well, it doesn't help that Vic Mullin constantly calls me down south, but I suppose from Scotland it is. But well, I don't listen to him. I'm not, I'll listen to you. Vic, he, but he always says Vic down south <laughs> because from <laughs> Scotland, I suppose it is. Uh, 100%. Yeah. Seriously, I refer to all of you as up north because for me, so it's, it, is, it, is it is relative. It is literally me. I am. If, if, he, if he come round in a, in a working men's club and sat down there, they'd be thinking that's definitely not up north. <laughs> He's not going to sit down there and say dick duck do, is he? He's not going to say it's garlic bread. <laughs> it's the future. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but really that's good. the wrong side of the border anyway. It's not legally allowed to say that. If you it's not legally in, allowed. No. If he showed up in my members' club, sat down there as a, a he sat there as a Samsung the battery. Yeah, my 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 mum's Wiganish. She wouldn't she wouldn't like that. If you're a Yorkshireman oh, pretending. Race. The Wiganish are ace. The, the, their actual language that they have is amazing. Yeah, but it's really when you live down south and your mum <laughs> sounds like that. Oh, do you know what? This is terrible. I ring my mum's answer machine when she when I know she's not there and play it to my friends in pubs. I just find it <laughs> absolutely awesome. My mum recorded the arts machine and my, and my stepdad was the director. You could hear it because like, she obviously went, okay, go, and he hit the button. <laughs> and, my, and then my mum goes, hello. I could do their names, I don't care about that. <clears throat> she goes, hello, Ann and Martin are not available to take your call right now. But if you'd like to leave your name and number, after it torn. We'll get back to you, and you can see her going. You can see her going like that and cut. I was still telling her the button. It's fucking. You can amazing. imagine as well going to bingo. She sat there with bingo with all the mates are going. Do you know what my son? He absolutely phones me up all bloody time. He's absolutely amazing. He's on antiphone. <laughs> he's on antiphone, so ringing me, and his friends are there as well. Saying, do you know what? He's absolutely wonderful. But there's some Man, terrible just things. Talk. <laughs> there's some terrible things that come from Wigan. But the good thing is, I'm nearly forty. I kind of have. You can talk to your parents like. You adults. were only nearly forty. I'm thirty-eight. Oh, bro. <laughs> but- my mum will go, my mum will say something to my wife like, uh, do you want a sweet? And I go, Ma, what? what is it? And mum goes, oh, don't be silly. It's an Uncle Joe's mint ball. And my <laughs> wife will go, my wife will go, <laughs> my wife looks at me and I go, no. Don't say anything. Don't eat it. And my mum goes, what's the matter? And I say, that's not sweet, mum. No one needs to eat an Uncle Joe's mint ball. And my wife goes, what does it taste like? And I go, it's unexplainable. It's like something they scraped off the floor at Sweet Black. We don't eat it. You're missing well, it normally, especially if it's been in car. Sorry. You sat with yeah. your dad and your mum were all like that. It's got all that fluff on top of it. Used See, to be a tin. even worse when my dad smokes because it had hash on it, but you're all right. <laughs> used to be a tin in the well, glove it. compartment. <laughs> and my mum would go, do you want a sweet? No. I'd rather lick my own arse off. Thanks. For... <laughs> yeah. What are you talking right. about, your Auntie Joan? <laughs> I have, I have got an Auntie Joan. I have. I've got an Uncle Bill and Auntie Joan. I used to have to ring him on Boxing Day. Right. Boxing Day. Thank you. Oh, anyway. Thank you. Right, so, thank you very much for your jumper. Thank you very much for your jumper. <laughs> right, we got to do it. Got... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think you, you uh... do one, and then I'll do one. Okay. Sorry, sorry, Richard. Sorry, right, it's fine. Sorry. We Let's... went northern. It was funny then. It's good. Yeah, it's good stuff. <laughs> Do uh, Daily Mail. Can you do Daily Mail? Yeah, I can do Daily Mail first. Okie dokie. This is Good quite kind of, it kind of goes one into the other. <clears throat> so we'll go for it. <laughs> really oddly, 
take what you will from this, the only paper to report this uh, was the Daily Mail. Really weird, isn't it? <clears throat> well. They did like <laughs> Hitler. Mm. <laughs> mm. They're the ones who reported it like this. Anyway. Chief Medical Officer. Oh, bloody. Okay, that's all they said. No, it, didn't. it just skipped backwards. Chief Medical of Officer urges ministers to take health concerns over vaping seriously as he fears a repeat of 1950s scandal when worries about dangerous tobacco were widely ignored. Uh, ministers must not let history repeat itself by allowing children to get hooked on e-cigarettes, the chief medical officer warned. Professor Chris Whitty said that although the devices are definitely safer, uh, in quotes, than tobacco cigarettes, there remain question marks over their long-term harms. And in a swipe at big tobacco firms, many of whom have moved into the e-cigarette market, he said he has serious concerns about their ability to addict people young. Several companies, including British American Tobacco and Imperial Brands, are investing heavily in vaping. Quite weird, they ran a story saying how the, uh, Imperial actually lost three billion, but fair enough. Heavily in vaping devices because tobacco smoking in the Western world is declining. But some of their markets appear to be brazen, some of their products appear to be brazenly marketed at children. And popular e-cigarettes flavorings include bubblegum, chocolate mint, and butterscotch professor witty told the mail we need to make sure history does not repeat itself uh, i'll just going to end on the last paragraph the test of whether a product is being targeted at children is if it starts to be increasingly used by children and that will lead to action that's literally nonsense if e-cigarettes are increasing in children then we should assume that they are being marketed towards them again nonsense or at least pushed on them total bollocks in some way and deal with that very very strongly that's a really weird thing to say i i assume that i assume that high volume um high uh, abv cider is also pushed at children because they use it so i assume it must be being marketed at them the thing about what you're talking about is that it, it, what they've said there is a total different sort of stuff you sit down look at the gins that have just come out mm -hmm. The, where they're marketed, anything to do with with alcohol now is is properly marketed at kids. It's yeah, a really weird he's, thing. He's suddenly got this. He's suddenly got this kids. bug up his butt, Annie. Though, yeah, yeah, the British chief medical officer. It's really odd that it's quite in line with Jill, with Jill's presumptions. Um, I will say that he makes a lie up uh, halfway through, but it would be impossible to get him on it. Uh, where he says that some of the most popular flavours, when he's talking about big tobacco, he goes to the most popular flavours. Flavours, they don't sell. Um, there's no bubblegum. I've never seen a bubblegum pod for the for a Vipe. I've never oh, seen a chocolate no. mint. Never, not even chocolate. No. Uh, so yeah. it's really weird. Well, but the, the, the great thing about this particular story is the IVBTA have responded to this, haven't they? Yes. Do you want to go straight on to the IBVTA then? Oh, God. Oh, should we leave it? it? I don't know. Have we got that one? Yeah, we have. <laughs> That's the other yeah, one. Yeah, really. Um, oh, is it the Parliament thing? Uh, no, we, that was the next one. I can go to the IBVTA's response, though. Go on then. Why are people sending me messages when I'm live on fucking YouTube? Fucking idiots. In a lovely way. I love you. Don't message me. I can't fucking look at them. Get that northern twat off. <laughs> They're not sending them. <laughs> And normally comments like, yep, yeah, okay, D -d 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 here we go, the IBVTA statement on comments made by the Chief Medical Officer. Again, I'm going to just state what I stated last week. If you so do not... So we about our Chief Medical yeah. Officer. Our yeah, Chief Medical yeah. Officer said it. British one. Right, sorry about this. I I'm actually thinking, you know the way you're America. talking. It, come, it feels that like he's coming across from the, the US. It I is, know, it's it scary. Is. It's like he's had a chat with the American one, isn't it? It yeah, is really yeah, totally. weird. Sorry. I, 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 it's okay. I, I will say, I said it last week, but I will say it again. If you're not following them already, do follow them. The only advocates worth listening to in the UK are the IBVTA. Go and follow their page. Give 100%. it a like and give it a follow. Don't bother with the other one. Um, here we go. Or two. Or three or five. Just go with the IBVTA. 
The IBBTA welcomes Chief Medical Officer Chris Whitty's confirmation that vaping is definitely safer than smoking in the Mail Online article on the 12th of February 2020. However, we question whether the small increases in youth experimentation with e-cigarettes since 2014 is evidence that vaping businesses are aiming at the youth market, as over the same period there was an even larger increase in adult uptake, and this may be a corresponding effect due to wider availability of vape products in general. The number of adult smokers in the UK increased by over 70%, from 2.1 million to 3.6 million over the same period. IBVTA members, in common with all responsible vape product vendors, commit to upholding the law and to only sell products to adults. As the Parliamentary Undersecretary for the Health and Social Care, Baroness Blackwood has noted, although youth experimentation figures may seem high, regular use of e-cigarettes remain low, particularly among young people that have never smoked. An ASH survey published in June 2019 found that, el- found that of 11 to 18-year-olds who had never smoked, only 0.1% vaped for more than once a week, and no examples of daily vapors were found among a cohort of one 1,895 never smokers. 93.8% of those surveys said they had never smoked and neither had used e-cigarettes or were uh, or were unaware of them, clearly demonstrating that combustible tobacco remains the youth gateway to nicotine addiction. Our members remain vigilant and the IBVTA offers guidelines to all vaping retailers in the best ways of enforcing a strict age of sale policy for both physical school stores and online sales. That was it. I thought it was a really good response. I think. Yeah. Before I interrupt anybody, can you just read them the 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 first four lines, please, again? Yeah, yeah, of course. First four. Lines, when they were saying about um about about the youth vaping, can you do that again? You know, the, from the beginning, I think it was roughly about four lines in. Uh, oh, uh, how, was it? We question whether the small increase in youth experimentation with e-cigarettes since 2014 is evidence that vaping businesses are aiming at the youth market. Yeah, that's a bit. As yeah. over the same period, an even larger of increase, a larger, larger increase in adult uptake, uh, and this may be a corresponding effect due to a wider availability of vaping products in general. So sorry to interrupt anybody else. If you look Go at that it. as a, a statement on its own. I really don't think that the uptake of um, pod systems or anything like that is coming from the children. I think uh, if no, I that's what they're saying. Yeah, that's they're exactly saying what that, they're saying. They're saying it might be a slight side effect, but they're saying that the, the they're done. They're not va- They're not regular vapors. They're not, not. They didn't continue. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't count. Do, do all of you work, obviously go and have a beer in a club or something like that? You, the, the majority of people who you're trying to get off the actual stinkies are in an age group between probably around about 40 and yeah. 70. Yeah. They're the hard stick. So you're trying to get off because the young ones today are not smoking and they're not vaping. For some of them are smoking. I, I will, there is a contingent of smoking that I see and it always saddens me because I do think, <laughs> fuck, I've seen the prices. Jesus Christ, if you've got a, if you've got a 20 a day yeah, habit now. Mm. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I, I agree with you, Aiden. It's If I look at when I go out in the city, the predominant people type of person I see smoking has grey hair. Yeah, they just don't want to quit, and that's their choice, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, it's, obviously, we we sit down there, especially the reviewers and people around it, is, is to not try and push it onto them, but to show them. But the majority of children that I know are now not really smoking. Now, we, we, Martin, um, same as you, Richard. Um, same as you probably, Bradley, as well, because obviously you look a younger as well, mate. You're probably younger than me. <laughs> I, I like that. I do like the fact that everybody's yeah, he's I'm done probably. the thing that everybody does. My name's my name's definitely John. It's not Martin. I was trying to work out who the fuck Martin was. That's my I'm, last. I'm so Martin, John. Yeah, I'm so it's Martin. my last name. It's, it's not. It's, it's everybody's fault. It's my ancestors' fault that my last name is a first name. So, so I call you Mister Martin. You see, yeah, call me that if you want. <laughs> 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 so if you call him that, you have to spend. <laughs> So we sit down there and we look at it if, if, when we were kids and we were at school. That's what they did. Yeah, we all smoke. Smoke. But yeah, yeah. even if they're experimenting with vaping rather than experimenting with smoking, that is a win. I know. A win. I agree. It's a harmless, fucking re- relatively harmless thing. Yeah. It's fucking better you than experimenting be... with tattoos on their face, isn't it? <laughs> you have to be capable of logic to understand that argument. And no one in Parliament or... 93% of the people in the media are capable of logic. I don't know about everybody else, but I'd say, like, 
as a group, there's probably about eight of us who are like a little cohort of mates who've known each other for t- over 20 years now. And we all smoked. Like when we were in our 20s, we all hang about and we all smoked. Out of those eight, one smokes. The other seven don't smoke. Uh, there's, there's two or three vapors in there or they've completely quit. They use vaping to quit or they use a different thing. They don't smoke. People don't smoke. You know, not like they used to. Yeah. They don't smoke. Right, I've got a bit of news. Go this for is, it. This, uh, this very, very, very quickly. I uh, just saw this. It came up on the Facebooks. Um, it was a, it was a little thing. It was a little question. Um, someone asked Fogstar, uh, "Are you guys affected by the cease and desist letters Samsung are sending out to vape companies?" And uh, Fogstar replied, "We are indeed. We are not allowed to sell them to the vape community as of next week, uh, but we are allowed to keep them for pack customers." All UK businesses will be subject to the same conditions, so there'll be a mass switch to Sony Molly Cells. Um, obviously, it's not the end of the world uh, if it's now going to become illegal for people to sell Samsung to people for vaping devices. Samsung have been really hot on this from day one, to be fair. Yeah. Um, it's not the end of the world. All I will say is, if you're a massive Samsung battery fan, for whatever reason... Buy them off me, I've got some. You've got... <laughs> you've, for the next In the next week, expect to see some very nice discounts. From people yeah. like Fogstar. I, I think Fogstar are doing 25 yeah. I don't I don't think you should be sitting down here panicking people to go and buy Samsung's because the thing is you can now change the way you're actually selling them. So what you can then do on your, your actual account, instead of selling them as um vaping um, batteries, you can still sell them as torch batteries. Yeah, there's workarounds, I- but it's gonna be very difficult for some companies to pretend the yeah. intended use is not vapor. How many batteries, apart from the Mollis, like we were talking earlier, have been said that they are used for vaping? Yeah, but the thing is, Samsung are doing this from a, the point of view um. of a supplier. They're, they're literally, as a supplier, they're not going to tolerate the people they supply to selling on for vaping purposes. So, yeah. th- so it is going to get complicated if people do continue. I, mean, I don't see it as a big issue because I think Molly Seller just as good. I think Galicia just as good. Definitely. I don't have an issue with it. All oh, I'm just making big. people aware that that might be why they're going to be seeing some discounts and or in a couple two weeks time some websites just won't stock them anymore. Oh, I just saw Dino Knights in chat. I didn't say happy birthday to Dino. the other day. Happy birthday, happy Dino. Birthday. Happy birthday, Dino. It was a couple of days ago. Oh, I meant to say I happy do, birthday. I do owe you a beer, Dean. And another quick bit of news from me. Uh, Wait, on, on there, mate. Richard's got... Oh, sorry, sorry. Brad's got a battery. I was just okay. waving it. He wanted to say something. Yeah, I was trying to eat it to hint that I wanted to talk about your battery go on in, go on in. I bought this I yesterday know. in the city because while missioning from meeting to meeting, my battery died. And it's an odd story. Get, forgive me here. Went in, asked for a battery normal sort of mid-city London Bridge sort of area t-shirt vape store. Way too specific. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Asked for a you battery. Get between London and Bristol. That's like proper good, good No, couple. London Bridge, you said. London Bridge. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, Asked for a battery and they said, which one do you want? Pink or green? Like, um, I expect a little bit more specificity. Just that, just than that, that. tube, just that tube you're holding, say Samsung on it. It doesn't say Samsung, uh-huh. but it does say 30Q. And he, when I asked what brand, he didn't know. When I asked what Ma, he didn't know. When I asked what uh, consistent amp rating, he didn't know. It was only when he actually gave me the product and I pointed out to him, one's a 25R, one's a 30Q. Then I was like, cool, give me the 30Q. He, he did then do the battery safety thing about keeping it in the tube. But I had a look on here while you were reading that article. And it says here, the manufacturer of the cell does not endorse this product for vaping. That's relatively standard. Does that, that statement enable them to continue selling it? Is my question. No. Well, it depends who their supplier is. No, I don't. I don't honestly, Rich, I, I, I don't think it is. I think you come down if, if they sit down there and they say you cannot sell that as a vape um, battery, but you can sell that as a torch battery. 
just as you just because you're actually a vape um battery seller doesn't mean that you can't sell that to the actual public it comes down to the it's, i don't it think gets, people it's very are... gray when you are literally yeah. a vape shop though I don't think people are that addicted to Samsung 25Rs and stuff. I reckon the, the VT6s and, and the, and the Modi cells have worked perfectly. Just get them and get them out. I, I don't the see it. Vape shops aren't no, no, buying think, no, batteries wrong. from Samsung. They're buying it from distribu sub-distributors who are buying it from... Well, but but those, Richard's got... Those distributors, distributors have received cease and desist letters. Yeah, and yeah, so they'll right, get cut yeah, off. Yeah, you're right. I've, so, I've seen them. So you just won't get it. Uh, so that was, I think that was if that somebody one. wants to buy something at three pounds sixty-five, though, which you can get from um, Fogstar now, you can get the three pounds sixty-five for them, which is like I proper cheap. You go to a bricks and mortar. Yeah, yeah I think they, I think they're doing twenty-five percent off as well now. Well, because I, 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 I fucking paid eight quid for this. Year. Oh, that yeah, is a that, savage that's price. Standard in a shop. No, it's I not. Think... I own a shop. I don't sell them for that. I think he knew I had a fucking dead battery and I would have paid country. anything he fucking asked. <laughs> You're done. Right. Richard, I've got what's one the more next little bit? bit. One more little bit uh, of news and then one more from John. Yep. Uh, Trumpy, Trumpy, the, the cheesy what's it? <laughs> Um, he uh, he has been talking about vaping in the last week, and uh, Planet of the Vapes is always uh, in their news section have summed it up really well. Um, basically, I don't want to I don't want to read this line for line like John does. Uh, that's very much his speciality. Uh, what I've done is I've digested this news, and I'm Fuck now going to uh, paraphrase it. So basically, Trump is toying with the idea of uh, moving tobacco related product regulation away from the FDA. FDA. Um, the logic being that tobacco related products kill you and the FDA's job should be regulating drugs and food that doesn't kill you. That's yeah, you come on. Better. They're regulating opiates that have killed fucking millions of people when you don't need to do that. It's incredibly fuzzy logic. Uh, when you <laughs> delve a bit good. deeper, because all, yeah. all their, I mean, uh, their, our nation, so fascinated and uh, in, entrenched in mental health related pills. Um, uh, Richard, you're, you're an northern lad and you should know all about mental health because obviously we've actually sit down here and go with it all day. Yeah, but I, but I mean, we just crack How? on, don't we? Up north, we just crack on. We don't, uh, yeah, we just Wait, pull hey, ourselves together. How's the up north when we're up north? Yeah. The thing about it is, if, if I, it's I do quite in, a number then, uh... of shows. I do quite a number of shows. You're never going to be able to work out the American way of thinking things, are you? No. Although I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Um, people are now speculating what this would this would mean, and the the curious thing about it is we don't know. Basically, he clearly doesn't feel like he has enough sway with the FDA. <laughs> And he clearly wants some sway on this topic, but we don't know which way he wants to sway. So really, it's new. It's there's no way we can go down either way. Or this, we can't be excited by this. We can't be skeptical about this. Do you think, do you think he's big. on about the topic of actually more to do with actually big, big pharma? He's but made big, pharma, yeah, big tobacco. He, sorry. Yeah, he's made comments that he, he doesn't particularly like that big tobacco are moving in that direction. Um, putting so much emphasis in it and seeing it as their future and he has talked about that and he, he sort of likes the the small industry side of vaping it seems that seems to have captured his attention but they it? don't pay they don't pay for his bullshit do they? The thing that's is, the problem he can't the offend thing is i don't think he's swayed by backhanders he, he does, he's not swayed by who pays he's swayed by who it's votes pure economy it's votes and economy is his two things aren't they I, d I, I, I don't know. I it seemed to really change the narrative when they were lobbying against him re recently. When he realised how many people were employed by the industry, and you know Man, how many I, people I in, in his demographics. But but we don't. But the problem with this news is, a, so many of these things are leaked or announced or discussed, and they never happen. Yep. The amount of times Trump's pondered something and it's never happened is un amazing. So is there's a ninety nine percent chance this never happens, and because he even if it did happen, we have no prison. idea what the implications would be at all. So. No, because <laughs> it comes down to a state level anyway. The federal law is one thing, but we know. I mean, we know that it's a state thing. So saying he won't take back hand doesn't really make any difference when every senator will. I, I did watch the show last week, and I don't know whether you touched on it. Um, 
and you haven't touched on like, the show before, but um, or the show before that, we, we were sat and talking about um, the, the amount that actual, the, the big tobacco had lost. Now, is it the... We did, Columbia? yeah, we did it. Yes, yeah, yeah. So is it is it something like one point something billion pounds or yeah, yeah Jewel have just had to get reinvestment for six hundred million, haven't they? Yeah. So 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 obviously we we're, we're all not daft here. So if you look at what they've lost, and then you put Big Pharma on top of it, who are losing it on the patches and they're losing yeah, it constant and losing on that. They they lost thirty percent last year. This year will <coughs> be bigger. So if you've got loads of things lobbying in your government, and these a lot of these people who are in these places are actually giving money towards the government, that can you not? We're not daft. We can see where it's all coming from. So it but makes the other... no difference. If he's going to sit down there and take it from the FDA or wherever else, it's, you're still going to be. You're not getting the money, are you? We kind of we 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 saying to we like we touched tonight. We do. I've been how long? Ever long I've been doing live shows on a Thursday, where it's four years been saying it for so long that the independent industries always had this this magic thing that that tobacco companies can't do any large company gets fucked on is that no one can turn as fast as the independent industry and when it comes to following market trends like you know when squonking comes in and goes out and mechs come in and go out and then we do this and we do tanks and we do drippers Swankers. We, we can literally fuck them every single move every time they've got it Every time they think they've got it, it falls away because something else picks up and there's no sense to it. I mean, when we've looked back at tanks, especially in the last two years, tanks and drippers and stuff, there's no logic. There's nothing in it. You kind of just, it's just what's in trend and they can't move fast. If you look at Blue, Blue are using a Von Earl design from three years ago, four years ago. Fuck who cares? It's a That's shit thing. I really do think when that was out was using a design that was from back in three years before that. I, I really do think the point is though is if, if if a big massive tobacco company is losing 1.9 billion pounds yeah. and then you've been sat there since, since the 1970s in getting this big payout and we all know exactly what we've said <clears throat> is that all these states have been getting this payout as well and they've pe spent it 10 years in front and yeah, they've put it into bonds and then these bag these big tobacco companies have bought them bonds and they're now pulling them in what what's your state's going to do yeah and that is exactly what they have done and, 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 and i'll tell you what I, i'm sorry to put this into us but we sat down there about america they they are not exactly the most cleanest company or or world that's ever been there mm. so you know these two these actual thc pods who mm. says that these these two lads who you've picked up on the street you haven't fingered it on they are known for putting stuff onto people so they could have actually i know i'm, I'm going conspiracy well they they did they they have they have admitted i will say however many pods they did i agree with that because it's ridiculous they didn't do the amount but <clears throat> they have admitted to putting vitamin e into into thickening it they because people have died in the uk from vaping none because those two are not they they haven't the coroner won't confirm so it's bollocks yeah. So, how many people have died in Europe? None. So we're only talking about one set of. of yeah, of, we. Ag I, I totally of, agree. So, and there's nothing that says that the U.S. government hasn't sent sent out all these pods and different bits of juice. No, they ever. didn't. Because the problem with the problem with the vitamin E, as the, the, the thing, <laughs> what caused it was the effect. The effect. Wrap it up, John. Sorry, what what caused Sorry. it wasn't it wasn't it it, it was <clears throat> it was continued use. It wasn't they didn't realise their fuck up because it wasn't immediate. That's why we have had that big rush and it stopped because you don't dead customers don't buy shit, so they took it out. They don't sell it. You know they thought they were just thickening in the product. But if you're trying to completely get rid of it so they can get the money back in these states, what you're going to do? You're going to make people poorly. I agree that they did that when it they did, knew it. It did cause it did cause a humongous scare and it, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was. I'm a, not. I'm not. It could. It, it could have been. It could have been. How, how can it be in one? Well, how can it be in one country and not be in the other? Oh, because we don't fake TAC. Man, manufacturers are using different methodologies. It, it was one dodgy country. manufacturer, but whether there was influence from an outside source, we could. It could yeah. have been. It. It wouldn't be 
mind blowing if it was. Uh, right. Parliament.org, John. Yeah, I'm only going to go. It, I kind of touched on it earlier, but we're going to go for it. <clears throat> this was a question that was asked in our paper to the in in, <clears throat> in the House of Lords by the Marquis of Lothian. Um, it was to ask Her Majesty's government what statistics they have about the prevalence of e-cigarette use, particularly among young people, what evidence they are collecting to determine whether e-cigarettes and vaping devices are an effective way to stop smoking and what action they are taking to ensure that there is a full awareness of the health risks of using e-cigarettes and vaping devices among young people. This was answered by Baroness Blackwood of North Oxford. Data from nationally representative surveys indicate that in England current vaping among young people remains low and concentrated among those who have already smoked among adults vaping prevalence is 6.3 percent with almost all vapors being smokers or ex-smokers the date the data can be found in uh, the, then they attach the bit smoking rates continue to decline among both adults and the youth public health england monitors the developing evidence on the effectiveness of e-cigarettes for quitting smoking a uh, major uk randomized controlled trial found that e-cigarettes found e-cigarettes to be twice as effective as nicotine replacement therapy therapy products when combined with behavioural support. Data from English Stop Smoking Services indicate that people who use an e-cigarette in their attempt to quit have the highest success rate. UK regulation of e-cigarettes include measures to protect young people, including a ban on most forms of advertising, a minimum sales age of 18, and a ban on proxy purchasing. Uh, Public Health England provides evidence-based information to healthcare professionals, teachers, and the public about the relative harmfulness of e-cigarettes, vaping devices, and smoked tobacco. I just thought it was a really good, uh, a, 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 a very uh, full mm. answer to a mm. question. Yeah. And uh, it wasn't done offhand. It wasn't just, uh, we'll see. I think it was a brilliant answer to the question. When you tell people that smoking is at least twice as effective as any other form, of uh, cessation i think that's amazing and and independently yeah i would say even more yep and not only that uh, as i said to someone the other day i i I think all vapors who quit before 2017 i think we were all due a payout we paid for our own quit soap smoking service we didn't rely on anything there's no public funding we pay for ourselves i think and we advertise it to other people i think we deserve awards and money i think we'll i think history will look upon us favorably I do as well. I agree. <laughs> How the fuck can you think of another thing that's been solved by by the, the users of the thing? If you, everyone's addicted to tobacco and people addicted to tobacco created a market think, and filled it with their own I shit. Think, I think in the future, we pioneers will will get some credit. <laughs> Hopefully, as a serious really thing, Richard, that is solid fucking gold. I think that. In the future, we will be looked upon favorably. What the fuck? Who has ever said that sentence in a serious tone of voice? I've got Tony Jenkins has made a great point in chat. I smoke for forty-three years. If I died tomorrow after vaping, if I after vaping for seven years, it would be the cause. <laughs> yeah. If you've you seen what obviously what Russia's doing, uh, is it by twenty twenty-five that it's going to be illegal? For anybody who's born after 2025 to buy cigarettes, I have no problem with that. It, it, at least genius. it's an, at least it's a fucking effective way. It, it, could you imagine? As I've said to people before, we know nicotine is one of the most uh, um, addictive chemicals in the world. Yet yearly, the budget comes out and they slightly increase the price of cigarettes. If you went to your heroin dealer and he said, "Oh, it's not a tenner anymore, mate." It's ten pound eighty five. You wouldn't go fuck that. <laughs> I'm going home then. I'm keeping my ten pound. <laughs> you pay the fucking ten pound eighty five. <clears throat> Do you know one of the biggest stories I tell? I tell about my mum and dad. Um, Mark will tell you solo. Um, we sat down with my mum. She went on to the Snides bags, yeah. and that's what what basically killed my mum eventually. <sighs> and and we watched her. Me and Mark, we watched her look like she were a frog. She literally, you, you sat down there, a seventy year old woman going trying to get a breath and all the stuff that was actually in this little um, tube about this big, it was about this big, all intense black gunk. That's all you could say it. 
my mum couldn't breathe, she had a trachonoctomy, she had all the bits and bobs. And my dad sat down there and he went, he watched, I'm, I'm not going to go down this road. He smoked uh, Park Drive, he smoked all the big, all the big like stuff that he had. Um, and he went on to Hang Scent, which was the Golden Virginia stuff. And also, yeah, yeah, I remember that. A horrible mix of, of energy cow. <laughs> yeah. he, sits, he sits there with a Nautilus tank on a cool fire four. With the old, it's literally the old Nautilus tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, he, and he's so happy. He doesn't That's smoke. Right. He's not smoked since she passed away eight years ago. Mark will tell you. And and today, I actually tried to have to find this uh, energy cow because I've stopped doing it. So I've had a word with Hang Send the selves, and they're all like quar- quarantined. They can't come out of their houses. Oh, um, I would um, t- t- I tell you who do one really similar to it. Uh, decadent Vapors do one, DV. Right, I've just found somebody called um, Smoke Shop or a Smock Shop. Um, Is that Island? Norfolk. And they were so nice when I phoned them up. They had cool. about 15 bottles of it left in. Yeah, I, I've Excellent. heard of them, I've heard of them. Good and if you, don't, if you don't mind a bit of mixing yourself, concentrates from Decadent I've, Vapors. I've had a word with them if I could do that and, and sit with my dad and show we would do it together, you know, like sort of mix yeah. it all up. Yeah, yeah. The bloke sat down there, went from Park Drive to all this stuff, and he watched his wife die. And me and Mark went so through so much. And you know yourself, you lose your mum, and we lost his mum. I think I really wish that me and Mark had found vaping properly before mm. she passed away, because I really do feel that I could have kept. I could have. My grandkids could have seen her for another ten years at least. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, absolutely. Do, do you also think to yourself? you saw the effect of attempting to quit on your mum. Uh, cold turkey quit, no vaping involved. Patches, your, gums. Yeah. Your father has gone through the process of quitting using vaping. He didn't have the same side effects with the coughing, all of the, the retching. Granted, yes, there is still a nicotine addiction involved. If he had quit today, sure, he'd still be grumpy from the nicotine withdrawal. He would have none of those physically negative effects. He's quit. breathing. You know when he sits with the kids? My dad is actually 80-odd-year-old, um, eight, born in 1939. And Mark will say the exact same. And he sits down here and he plays with the kids. He's got none of that. You know that? Your uh, father so- is from 1939. Yeah, my dad's the ninety third. Don't his his because it's because Brad, Brad's dad's not old enough. We've gone through this before. My dad was born in nineteen forty seven, and Brad was like, "What? Nineteen forty seven? It's like, yeah, that's when he was born. My father was born in the fucking sixties. My yeah, grandparents were born in the fucking. Well, he, he spent 40s. half his time stoned. <laughs> <laughs> Either that, or he were licking frogs. Like, <laughs> my my great grandfather was in the in the thirties. I think my, we've already. My, my granddad was born in the 1800s. <laughs> Jesus, how old are you? Were you like stored in a refrigerator oh, for your first? Forty. I was like right. forty when he had me. Probably I think. Like I think we're gonna. Had. We're gonna have to start deep diving. We're gonna start deep diving. John, mate. John's okay. trying to stop me from. I run about my mum again. <laughs> we're gonna, you're gonna. We might do that. We're gonna, we're gonna call that the beginnings Sorry, of the Richard. deep dive. Right. I'm gonna set this up. His head down. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Sorry, I was looking at my phone cheeky uh right aiden little bro vapes two thousand subscribers hundred thousand views five videos a week if ish depending uh you're absolutely grinding it out 2016 you started didn't you uh 2017 i saw that did i 2016 the channel says 2016 I yeah, think it was the first video might be. I first started off on uh, three men and a not three men and a vape show. I uh, last the summer vapes with yeah. my brother Solo. Yeah. I had a, a mini stroke, um, which sort of changed my life of, of, of smoking and also my drinking habits. I'm, I've gone a bit bad with my drinking habits still, but um, yeah, I did yeah. I, I love casting more than actually reviewing, if I'm honest. Yep. Do you still? Are you still pumped for it though? Are you still loving it? Are you? Have you had a little wobble or? Yeah, we, we have bits where um, obviously a lot of people know that I suffer from bipolar. I have ups and downs where I, I, I don't quite get the reviews out as we do. Um, you know yourself, how it works. You've got family. I've got four children, yeah. a wife, a business. So, But yeah, I proper love it. 
I'll never get involved in the drama either, as you know, same yeah. as Mark. Um, I've, I've always been mates with you. Um, before Paul McCartney as well. I've always been mates with you. <laughs> get that in. <laughs> Fuck well, him. Well, Paul McCartney got really good mates too. See, Paul McCartney is like my bro from another mother. Yeah. I so love him. Yeah, he's he's such a, a lovely bloke. Um, he got me all of them in ma- major milestones and such a wonderful bloke and I think the world of him but we were friends before that you you knew my brother yeah, didn't you yeah 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 ages ago. I, think, I think I think Mark which you must get Mark on the show please get Mark on the show um, how are we going to do it though because his show literally overlaps Mark will come on the show yeah he absolutely oh yeah we'll definitely guys. get him on we'll definitely um, get him on he, he, he absolutely thinks of all of the show oh brilliant uh, cool. and the show before you know the the, the home show Mark proper loves this please oh, get we'll my definitely we'll definitely get him on yeah yeah definitely mm. he is absolutely fantastic reviewer so uh, like you said four kids he's a top bloke absolutely top bloke and everyone should check out the live show he does literally before this show it's just seamless people should just watch that and then come on <laughs> get straight in start drinking right then and then uh, yeah. carry on through so you mentioned four kids uh i've i've got two i always feel very envious of reviewers without kids <laughs> And I feel like it's. I feel like they're just playing playing the game on easy mode, compared to <laughs> compared to us. Um, I one hundred percent agree. I've only got fuck one. off. No, I don't, mean, I don't mean people in life. Wait, I just mean vape, yeah. vape reviewers that don't have to worry okay, about their fine, kids. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I've, I've got one, and I think you people who've had a second are fucking stupid. Yeah, it's mental, isn't it? Falls, well, falls insane. The fact it was, I were, I were a singer for twenty years. And that, that, that's, that was my major job. And now I run the entertainment company where I just work on a weekend. So I do have plenty of time to... That's <laughs> that's what I was going to ask. How does how does your vape schedule work? Because you, you're live two or three nights a week as well. Yeah. Um, I've, I've, I've not got the sort of equipment that other people have got. Um, I've got a bog standard computer, which cost me 50 quid, which is proper failing. Um, some nice people have looked after me and I'm like, get a new one on the way um i use a c920 i've got two of them i could never do the up and closes so i ended up doing a little bit like for, um, for the normals or the muggles in the room explain t920 so, yeah just the webcam in it c920 so it's a logitech so it's, it's basically a cam so i've got two of them and it's on a boom mic i can show you so so we sit on a boom mic there there we go. I've got that, and then it sits down underneath that, and I bring it down to my table, which is absolutely loads of crap on there, as we do as reviewers. Um, we like the behind the scenes. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, yeah, I'm, I'm bog standard. I'm not the greatest reviewer out in the world. I don't know loads, but I really. I think I think, I think you've got bags to turn. Really do. Yeah, you've got everybody en- walk budget back. Doesn't make en- any difference. Energy you can well. pay for that. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't make any difference. Equipment's for something. Nah. People, I I I don't watch many people. I have caught you since we had you on the show. I've got you. Uh, I'm sub to you, and I've been sub to Richard Rages. And I'm only I'm sub to like four bait reviewers now. Maybe no, yeah, f- I'm five. Matt uh, Matt Cully. There's people I can stick, and there's people like like uh, who I just think, oh, I like the way they say things. I think I think Richard's really it really gets a raw deal. I'm like, why the fuck do people want? I, I he should be know, massive. I think you have to know me because it's so monotonous and well, slow and dry. I guess it's it's not. You, what, you've got that natural gift of energy, though, Aiden. That's the key. Bro, when we first, I've I've still got like one of our first um, actual interviews. I, I didn't know what to say to you. <laughs> um, you. You were like, you've always been lovely to me. When I ever first started. Um, we went, me and Mark went to the Premier Inn before anybody else went to the Premier Inn. There were you, there were Todd, and there was Biker, and, and you always had time for me. You, <clears throat> When you get to sit down there and you look at one of your reviews that you actually watch, and you think, and my brother loved you, loves you to bits as well, and it, you were so nice to me all the way through it, and I grabbed old you. I think they're actually a big plastic robot from... Um, <laughs> I, think I remember that squared water. I mean, something like that. <laughs> oh, I just remembered you embarrassed me after we shut the show off last time on the first show we did when you were on, because I didn't know I'd met you. And then afterwards, yeah, you did. said, and then I was like, I. And then after you'd gone, after you'd gone off cam, I went, I'm a cunt. No, it's, it's I was like, that's so <laughs> awful. I'm such a fuckface. 
No, you don't. You, you, yeah, it's you, a blur, though, isn't it? Expos are a blur. Uh, you, you had a lad on who I didn't really know, um, right. him with the glasses on. Uh, before you did your, your worst five and stuff like that. Oh, Craig. Oh, Craig, Craig, Craig. Yeah, he, he jumped on my back. Um, the last expo, he literally jumped on my back and he says the uh, home show's fucking nothing without me on it. And I've got it on me, I've, I've got it on me actual, you know, my video stuff. Yeah. And I thought, I don't even know who you are. Yeah. He watches a lot of live stuff. He likes a lot of live stuff. Who yeah. was that? You talking about Craig? Craig, yeah. Yeah, with the glasses on. And I, I've still got this recorder, so I can show you. So I'm not I really it. want to see that. Yeah. I can't imagine, that. I can't imagine Craig saying that. Without me on it. This was in October. He's and not the most person. It's I never knew who he was. So obviously, the other show that you did, you did this like five people you don't like in vaping, which is, is down to you <laughs> No, it was no, down to Craig. No, it was, no, it was, was literally Craig. just him. We, we, just on that shit. we that did not him. know what, what Craig was going to say. He won't mind me saying this because we were setting up the show and he said, I've got five people and I don't like him vaping. And I went, save it, just do it live. Well, and I, then we didn't know what he was going to say. That's down to them. It, obviously down to them. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, personal opinion. I don't mind. Of course it is. And that, that's what he's like. I, I, and I, I always tell anybody that I'm ever with, I, I, and the same as my brother, <laughs> We do not get involved in any of this shit. I can't believe that Craig jumped on your back. That's jumped so on my back. random. I, I, I don't even know if he knew me. He do, and I looked round, and, and and the only reason why I recognised who he was when I watched the show back, yeah. and he jumped on my back, and he says, the home show is nothing without me. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm he, literally... It's him that messages this. me often in the morning, and he tells me if I've missed a good live show. Because he watches Ooh. quite a few, and wow. so he'll tell. Oh, he was like, "Oh, it's a juicy bit like last night, such and such." And I always check it out. Cool. <coughs> we love Craig. That's you, so you've weird. Had, you've had different people on, and people always ask me about um, how do you get involved in this? Because I got on with everybody. The, the the biggest person to me in my life is my brother. Yeah, yeah. He's my oldest brother, and I think so much about him. And he was involved in this industry way before I ever got in here. So what I do is I keep my mouth shut and I get on with what I do. I don't get involved with CVP. I don't get involved with Vic. Mm -hmm. I, Vic is one of my friends. Mm -hmm. um, I, he was there when I first went on the network, you know, well, on the, uh, we were on the last of the summer oh, yeah. games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's Craig all I know. I, I don't get involved in this. So unless you've hurt yeah. me or hurt my brother, I don't get involved in it. Mm -hmm. That's a sound logic. <clears throat> the other thing I was going to ask you about, was and I don't get I don't know this I've missed this um, orange tic tac have you got a juice what have you got yes, you yo yo juice? yo um, the wonderful uh, gentleman from um, Les we've yeah. all watched vaping with Les yeah a fellow Yorkshireman yes and he, he also came from <laughs> Paul McCartney and I wanted a juice um, so he went down to the the shop and we spoke to him and he did me a tic tac juice. And it is the yo yo juice. Let me just go and get it. You can all get that from the wonderful um, juice cabin. Juice cabin, that's it. That's it does thing. look like loads of watsits or <laughs> mushy peas and bits and bobs. I know people are not going to like it. Your peas are the wrong fucking colour, mate. It doesn't taste bad. I use it all the time. <laughs> that has got to be the best review for a liquid ever. It doesn't taste bad. So, but it tastes like orange Tic Tacs, right? Orange Tic Tacs. If you remember when we all started, there was uh, Skittles, mm. there were th them sort of flavours, and that's what you've got there. And, and so, so also, it was your right. You just wanted that flavour, and then he I started did, Yeah, I also it. wanted a spearmint. Right. That that it was the, the Mako Yatsu Bolt was my first ever. Well, review. what I help you along, Aiden, is taking the second A out of it because <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely called Spearmint and it's definitely not called Spearmint. Yeah, yeah, but the thing is, my mum and dad used to say that. Spearmint. <laughs> yeah, that's how it's just how it's how it's <laughs> your mum and dad say, don't you? Take an A out. I was like, what the fuck is Spearmint? <laughs> You tell it right. The amount of people say to it, it's not that you idiot. <laughs> you have to keep saying what your mum say. It's it's like that. Uh, what's the other one? Oh, come on, Aiden. There's another one as well. What my mum and dad used to say, um, engrossed. Right. Used to be engrossed into it. No, you got it right. And I you got, might it have right. got it right. So it's Lou. My wife's watching this right now. Lou, it, fuck you. You got it wrong. It's definitely. It's definitely. It's definitely engrossed. Yes. Thank you. I thought it's all right. I love, Steven, yeah, I, I love that, that you wife, argue about see, words. Come come if you're French, you know what that means. It means you're half in and you're half out. 
I like it. The other big obvious question to ask any reviewer is what's the plan? Where are you going? Are you just are you just riding it? Or do you have something in the pipeline? Are you or... Do you know what I mean? I've, I've, I'll tell you what I've got. I, I just want to carry on doing what I'm doing and trying to get a little bit better. I am not by far technical or anything like that. I want to show you what the device does. I want to show you what I know. I don't want to try to be any better than I am. I'm just that person who wants to be a reviewer. I so love this. Mark gave me this chance, my brother, mm. um, it, being a part of a live show. You know, like I'm on here now. I would not <clears> be here without Mark. Um, um, just being able to do what I do, I proper love it. I'm, I'm not the greatest reviewer. I do my best. Um, I, I, I've also got ideas, you know, like RDAs and stuff like that, which I think we're going to go on to a bit and... I'm putting a link to your channel in chat. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Oh, I was going to ask you to check that out. Which which uh, expos are you planning to go to this year? Um, thank you very much to all my. I've I've got three Patreons, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, obviously it's, it's quite hard when you got four kids to try and get to anywhere. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. totally get that. And it is hard, but um, my, my Patreons have paid for me to get to the London show. Oh, are you going Saturday. this weekend? This weekend. Weekend, yeah. Oh, Brad's going to go. Which day are you going to be there? I'm going Saturday, and I'm meeting one of my subscribers who I go with, Alan, and I also got that for Christmas, you know, like a proper... Uh, yeah, a gimbal. To do it, gimbal. So nice. hopefully it'll be out on the night time as I go on the train, because I want to, you know, a little Have bit like... Minute. Oh, yeah, well, you're posh. I'm not... Well, yeah, I am. You're a bit posher than me. Well, I've only just got. No, but you're gonna, you're gonna, gonna stick you're, you're gonna meet up with Brad. Brad's going. Are you going on Saturday? I tell you what, I am. Brad, if you're going, I brother, will, I can't wait to see you, mate. I am going. I will meet you there, and I've got one of what he just showed you. Oh, mate. For you. Oh, oh. I've got. So nice. I've I've got a spare. It's yours. Look at right, that. Nice, so nice. Thank you awesome. so much. Awesome. So I will meet you on Saturday. Genius. I'll see you there. Yeah. Oh, we'll we'll, there, have, brother, we'll have a so cuddle. so much. Uh, we'll have a cuddle and I'll spoon you. Big love, bro. We'll be fist heads together. So you're going. <laughs> so you're literally going. You're going London this weekend. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah and the, the biggest thing this year I really want to do as many as I can. How's I it? really want to go. Are you, are you coming to Jam as well? Mate, do you know what the Germany one is um, up in the air? I really want to. Try are you coming to? Are you coming to London for Jam? Is what April? Is that going to be on? Yeah, well, they reckon it is. But you yeah. say that, but if they're doing this one, no, but I the mean... real the real question is: this London one is that not affected by Corona? I don't well, know. I'm going to avoid the stands. I mean, well, I'm going to avoid those. I, I think we need to look at. I, I think London's not because if you look at it, it's all juice. There's, there's oh right, a, okay. Is it mainly? Juice? They're all, but jam, but jam, jam will be juice as well. It's jam wasn't juice, juice, juice though. If you remember when Richard, when we went, when Mark, my brother, was actually talking for the NNA. Yeah, yeah. It was actually quite a big. There, there was um, mm. Grim Green there, the Rubaru, and the, there was. Um, there was a good yeah, mix. Yeah. Oh yeah, Christ, that was the one you were at. So I do know. That's yeah. The one that we, it was. Um, so you were at Travelodge. Modders, show, modders <laughs> showcase thing as well. Yeah. Modders gallery. I was ruined yeah. in Travelodge. Yeah. Good boy. <laughs> I, that's why I don't remember. That's fucked up. I, I was ruined. But the second the one that gallery. we went to was absolutely trolled with just juice. It was horrible. Yeah. Mm. Um, oh, but just because Aiden mentioned the NNA, fuck you. That's just a quick one to the NNA. <laughs> just in case you still exist, suck a bag of dicks. I don't think <laughs> you don't get on with Dawn, is it? it no, no, it's that they're a bag of shit. That's why. It was when they. Yeah, it, well, it's I never. Worse, worse for them, hasn't I it? never had a bad. I never. Me and, I've never met Dato. Never ever. Yeah, I've got so, so why is the reason that you don't like them? Oh, because they lie. They're, they're so stupid. They made so many errors. They're, and they they're funded by Big Tobacco as well. Yeah. Are they, they they just cross streams, which we don't need to get to talk about. They came out we... in favour of Heat Not Burn. Yeah, they yeah. came out in favour of weed. It was a really <laughs> stupid idea. Yeah. From, they day out one, from day one, they loved CBD. Yep, and then they came out in favour of snuzz, and you're like, that's never coming. You are Dude. stupid. Yeah, either way, yeah, whatever you want to call it. But we mm-hmm. can we can use fake one now. But we uh, they came out in favour of um, what's the one you snort? Tobacco you snort? 
snuff yeah. came out in favor of that yeah it's just absolute twats yeah. you know don't cross the streams it's so stupid obviously you 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 brought somebody to a uh, company to or, or not a company but uh, um, uh, a sort of a, an advocacy company that i've never heard of the ibvta yeah they're the only ones the government yeah they're to. the only ones we like because they're vape trade association basically yeah, yeah. Right. independent so, yeah, so we mentioned them a lot last of the NNA week. Do, sit down there to do with um, tobacco harm reduction. IBVTA, a tobacco harm reduction as well. The, the, the trouble is that, that as soon as you get involved, oh, I don't want to go down this yeah, road. We're, we'll talk about that after. We'll talk about, as soon as you get, we, don't we cross like the IBV, streets. We like TA. the IBVTA. So. Yeah, yeah, we do. They're really good. Uh, we move on from the IBVTA. Uh, oh, I, if, you, if you come to Jam, we're going to Jam, or I'm going to Jam, but I'm not April. going to... But I'm not going to jam because it looks rubbish. So we're going to a pub instead. Oh, um, mate, I'm all for that. <laughs> so just just if you go to jam and then you find it to be yeah, as rubbish as it looks. Jam and then messages. Yeah, yeah, come and see where we are because I'm so not going to be a victorious. This dog. year is that I'm trying to get there, and there's also a, a thing in the pipeline of me actually trying to get a load of people from like Amsterdam, not Amsterdam, from Holland and yep. other people to actually, you haven't seen a, a person called Chris Willis, uh, Chris Wilson, sorry. I know the name. But... Right, so what he does on YouTube is he gets to different places with a pound. Oh, okay, right, wow. Oh, right. Yeah. So, so you're going to try and what, get to Germany for a pound? Yep, that's my plan. And well, I'm I'll be, try... I, we are in, I'm in Germany, I'll be at the show. Oh, my. So if you're, oh, so Brad, so if you're in there, if you make it for a pound, we'll buy you a drink. So that's the plan is getting dropped off at, in um, Amsterdam and I've got to make my way all the way across to Stuttgart all the way Love through. Love it. It's just literally next to the airport, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Right. Either that or I'll just get the £150 flight, but he's, he's just trying to... <laughs> I, like, I like it. I like good. it. I like 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 it. I want to get there and I want to vlog it all. Yeah. Good man. Yeah, that would be a wicked video. I'd definitely watch yeah, that. Yeah, that'd be very cool. I, I sat down there and I watched a lot of Vinny's. You know what Vinny did? Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yo, 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 champ. Uh, the, the bloke, I've got no problems with him. I've never had. Love Vinny. Uh, we do. Yeah, I really yeah, love Vinny. I've had no show, problems with him ever. He's always been lovely to me. Um, and, and you know, like, when he put his stuff out every night, uh, you know, when we went to, to, to any expo, he put yeah. it out every single night. And that's what I did. If you watch behind it, yep. yeah, yeah, small, respect. Very that. small channel. Yeah, we had Vinny on the old show, and I still, I, I talked, uh, Vinny, I still uh, talked to Vinny on Messenger. Uh, just to, I think there's this bit of a because I'm not quite as I'm getting towards Aiden's age, but not quite that old. But um, I just think he's a he's a kid, and I think people are like people have given him a shit like version of stuff before and i had a little chat with him because he was going through a lot of shit at one point and i just thought i was just being that older person and kind of going no 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 we get not- I'll, I'll always say on your channel i'll say on anybody else uh, if, if the bloke's not done anything wrong to me yeah I, or my brother i've got no problem with him yeah my he's a nice gets on well with him i've got yeah. on well with him vinny's vinny and Harry he's been is. everywhere he's I've been japan him. everything he's fucking awesome right i can see uh, richard going fuck no, should we go on to the next well one? i just want to show some new stuff a couple of new go. stuff yeah, um, do it. i yeah. don't know if we've ever featured these guys before sorry ed and you you'll have to see it on youtube or whatever because i can't show you on zoom but uh, I, i'm putting up a slideshow i don't know if we've show, ever showed these mods before but this is if mods Oh, I don't um, think we have. IF mods, and uh, they've just started pumping out a couple of new mods. Uh, so I, I grabbed some pictures off their Facebook group, IF mods on Facebook. I think it's brackets21. Uh, but if you just put in IF mods in your Facebook search, you'll find the group. Um, I just think they're st- stunning little mods. I don't know too much about them. Um, but uh, stabilized wood, 18650. Some are mech, some are regulated. And I think they're just very, very pretty. And we're all about showing people new stuff and i like that if anyone likes to look at these well are they del are they delrin oh, or something yeah. No, not that. yeah delrin really. are they white delrin so some are c frames stab yeah some are I'm teflon ah oh, teflon yeah 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 um and some are engraved like you know really fancily get, engraved you know, as well you know when you get that sort of like stabilized wood you know the ones that are like baby sick <laughs> yeah i really don't like them yeah, the ones that are crazy. We've always said on here that, especially Rick was a big advocate for natural, natural wood. Natural colours. Just natural yeah. wood. Yeah. 
That, that's what I like. I think if you sit down there and you look at something beautiful. Um, you know when we used to go to um, vape, uh, not jam, uh, vape fest. Yep. We used to get quite a number of people there from Italy Shit. and stuff like that. So did you hear me do the raffle as well? Yeah. Fuck me! I'm so sad. I don't, I'm such a dick. I don't take any notice of anybody. Yeah, we were there. I'm a horrible person. You first. Over there, but we did, I did, remember your brother. He did the the, the the Italian mods. Not a lot of people went into his little tent, but wow, they were about four hundred odd quid. But wow. Yeah. If you, yeah. If you had if you had that money, <laughs> oh, wow. But to, eat, to, eat, to, eat, to each his own. I would never pay that. Uh, I don't know what the prices of these mods are, but I, think they're I, really I would pretty. never pay that. But to each his own. If you've got loads of money, then uh, well, your Todd's mate, Todd will give you a few. <laughs> I think I think Mark has an IF mod on the way. Although don't quote Ooh. me on that. Um, but uh, that would be interesting to see. I want to um, see what people say in chat, but I'm pretty sure he posted it today on the shed. Yes, but that wasn't his hand. It wasn't him. Oh, was so it not? Oh, so it's on the way. You're right. I remember. So he so said it was no, coming soon. Yes, which is yeah. obviously point, Richard. So. You, you big mates with Biker as well. What, what do you think about his new show that's coming out? Yes, ninety-five percent vape show. Yeah, I yeah. think it's good. I think I think uh, it's 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 something different. You know, I'm all for that. I'm all for something different. I don't know if you oh, know. Well, he, I, I have a part-time job, which is annoying, Mark Todd. I, I send him. If you think the crazy bullshit I post online is crazy bullshit, I send him way worse shit every oh, single yeah, fucking day. You're proper, my mate. I proper sit down there and wait for you to post. Crazy <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I proper well, love it, honestly. The man with the little box. What's his name in the box? Bertie Box. And the thing about it is, you're proper like eighties like me. After the stuff he's singing, and also a little bit of Beatles the other way. Other I do day. like the Beatles. My dad, my, I'm named after two of them, so I kind of just do it. I like the Beatles, and I like, uh, yeah, Beatles, uh, ELO, um, and. Uh, oh, Wandering Mulberries. You're going to get Mark on it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, so, the just going thing, back a little go bit. On, though, go on. Sorry, I just want to ask about no, the biker. Go. So it's a yeah. now hour long show. Yes, How yeah. How do that's going to work? Obviously, it, his, his actual stuff that he does is like spot on. Everything's clean, clear. You know, everything he does. What do you think? An hour? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so it's the, the, the problem he has, obviously, is his health issues. So I think he'd love to do more often more frequent and all that sort of stuff but knowing him and the way he is he wants it to be so slick so good he can't commit to an set thing because yeah. he might wake up one day and he and he's just really poorly you know so he just can't commit to it so he can do this in his own time put it all together package it up put it on youtube and it's there, and it's a show, and it's slick, and it's very him, isn't it? It's very slick, it's very neat. Oh, yeah, it looks like a proper TV show, doesn't it? Uh, I think well, it's only going to be, sadly, I think it's only going to be monthly, which is yeah. gutting. Um, but um, it's very slick, it's very cool. I, if I was him, I would premiere it, you know, where you can schedule it to literally go live yeah. at nine, so he can chat to people in chat while it's on. I would do that if I was him, uh, but I think it's it's fresh, it's good, it's cool, and people seem to like it from from what I've seen yeah. of the thing. I think it's pretty cool. I, I really enjoyed it, and and from from a complete outsider, as much as I'm on here, I'm sure as shit not a reviewer, and I'm not bound by those pressures. But like six days a week, I work from four a.m. to ten p.m. I don't have the time to log into Facebook, see what's going on in our own group, which those two have got to work out where they are. Those where are the top two? <laughs> always remind me of. I don't have the time on top of that to then check out the reviewers that I want to watch. To have, to know that I can watch a show, which is an hour long, which is produced to the level that his previous show was mm. was produced to is really nice because it wasn't i wasn't watching a youtube video i wasn't watching I, clip. I could only dream to get what his standard of actual video recording is the level mm. of ocd required to i love i love video editing i did it as a pastime many many moons ago John, do you not think that it's, it's like TV quality, isn't it? When he puts I it do, out? Dean. I, I, oh, yeah. I, I think I know. I know what it's like. Uh, I know what it's like with details. So I know no, he's no, going to. Sorry, I was just playing with my scissors. 
That's all right. I, I know he. I know what Dean is like with detail, so I know he. he that's what you're going to get. It was no surprise when when really when it was flipped. Really. And it's there's I, no there's I, no tricks gonna... there. There's no tricks. Is uh, his edits take a long time? Yeah, yeah. It, they, what... It's not like he's so amazing at editing that it's effortless. Those edits take him a long time. That show to put together takes him a long time. Yeah. Uh, but doing it that way. Of, he's got a month to do it, so it takes the pressure off, you know. Um, so he can have good days and bad days, and uh, yeah, I think, uh, oh, I'm just happy he's back in it. Really, to be honest, I'm just happy he's doing yeah, something. You've been mates for years, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. He was he was massive for me early doors. I was I used to just wander around expos and fests and things like that, and just not talk to anyone, just do my own thing. I think and we he, kidnapped you at one. Yeah, he he just dragged me into it all and got me talking to people, and he t- completely changed my vape experience really so yeah he's been a massive part of my thing um so that's that uh oh uh, one one more new thing one more new thing the right. aspire this so, is going to be nautilus, one of their long shows yeah aspire nautilus gt kit now we all knew that they'd done the the nautilus gt the with typhoon have you got one coming got one coming hey uh so we knew they were doing the nautilus gt with typhoon we knew about the tank i had no idea they were doing a kit with the mod uh, pictures on screen now. I think it looks pretty cool. All match, it's all it's all matchy, isn't it? It's all matchy. Yeah. It looks good. Um, yeah, my dad, my dad uh, obviously has a Nautilus one, yeah. and he won't move from this Nautilus. Mm. I've tried to give him loads of different other stuff, and I, I think this one he'll actually move to. It, it looks, looks really nice, cool. doesn't it? Yeah, it looks really cool. Looks really good. Um, the tank has gone down well. Um, so have you got this? No, no, I don't really do with Aspire. That's why. That's why I had no idea about it. To be honest, anybody got this? No, no. not yet. No. Oh, so it's a whole kit with a whole thing. Yeah, uh, mod no. and everything. Uh, so it's a seventy-five watt mod. Is it eighteen six fifty? Single eighteen six fifty. Takes all the Nautilus coils. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. a zero point seven one that they've got. Yeah. Have they got a um, an RRP on the kit? I think the full kit is about 70, is it? No, it must be more because the tank is 45. I think you can get the tank cheaper than that. All depends where you're going. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, we don't know then. Uh, and we don't actually know. We Presumably, we don't actually know when it will be out out because of production issues in China. So, I, I don't know about you lot. I was really upset with the actual Nautilus 2. I think they came out with a stupid bell design. It didn't look right. It didn't feel right. It wasn't sort of... Ah, but I am with you, except for one thing, which is uh, prior to the Nautilus 2, they'd never... I This is controversial. Uh, Mark Todd's not in chat, so I've got to assume he isn't watching because I know he'd get upset when I say this. <laughs> they'd never got the coil right until the 2, when they brought out the 0.7, which was is the best coil they've ever made. The point Are you one point, really going to say they're one point coil? We're not raking one. this up. John's just never liked I the fucking hate it. Nautilus. No, they don't work. The QC oh. was shit. It, they always used to break. It was ridiculous. I had five. Between I do have five the packs and one coil work. And the BVC from Aspire, you, you're sitting down there with some fucking nice coils and they've been there for constant. They've been there since I've ever vaped. They were so bad at the beginning. One in five was a really decent call, but four out of five sucked. That's really bad. They did the BDC and the BBC. <laughs> Mark, Mark's, Mark Todd's woken up in chat. Ah, uh, there we go. He's saying wrong. wrong. He's saying wrong. John's got his a, a different opinion. So everyone I don't care. I took them own. on holiday. I used to take, I took, when uh, I first started for vaping, I took a VV Nova. I used to take a tank on holiday for like a two or three week holiday to give it a really good test because I could build coil so it didn't really make any difference to me. So I'd take something else with me to see how it worked. So I took the VV Nova after, this is years ago, the VV Nova V2, which was like, it was a game changer, but it was a piece of shit and nobody told me that. And then I took the T3, the next holiday I went on, that was a piece of shit. And then... (sighs) And then I took the Nautilus, the first, uh, I took the Nautilus when I went to Thailand, Cambodia, and I was, I, I took, sexy bastard. just keep saying them names, of places. <laughs> I took that, I was, I was in Kampot, uh, South uh, Cambodia, and um, I'd got this, <laughs> just Nautilus. flick your air while you're doing it, please, and I'd got a Nautilus, <laughs> and um, I got a Nautilus, and uh, the original Nautilus, and I got the 1.8 coils, and they were so fucking awful. And I remember sitting in the toilet, um, rebuilding a K-Fun. Uh, I had a K-Fun light. 
sexy bastard. I didn't really want to fucking rebuild, but I was like, I've got it because I can't stand this fucking coil, these coils. So I rebuilt the K fan. And the first drag on the K fan, because it'd been out of like service for about three days, was, <laughs> oh, it was amazing. It was like beginning vaping again. It was like, oh. I, I still awesome. think you sit down there in Nautilus, even in like people like uh, Vaptic. They're way better now. This is five years ago. We're way yeah. past that. Oh, mate, I, obviously, you go back to me and Mark, our days. I started off on like a cigarette stuff with, with blue, blue, sorry, glue, blue at the end. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then after that, we used to have to actually drill holes in to get, get the airflow. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. I just, I, 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 the Nautilus coil is, it doesn't matter now because the Nautilus coil is one of the, you know, the range is the greatest range that's ever existed. That's what's uh, in there. I know. Yeah, that's what's in there. Quality, yeah. right? I, I'm, I'm so surprised that, that you are not. It's only John. Aspire though, Richard. Oh, it's because of what I said before about my thing about not accepting stuff. That uh, basically, Aspire don't like that arrangement, <laughs> uh, <laughs> which is so completely understandable. Oh, obviously, you sit down there. What, what you now, uh, uh, K? How, how, how many you've got followers on YouTube? Oh, which doesn't know. really matter. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how many. Uh, 15 but basically it's basically for me it's a way i'm not sure basically for me it's a way of limiting the amount of stuff i get so i can only make two or three a week tops three max two ideally uh and so it's just a good way of limiting the amount of stuff that comes in to be honest was that something you did at the beginning no or... no 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 i just got it all and just had really <laughs> long queues and got really stressed and uh, like now, I never have a queue more than two or three things. It's great. Richard is actually only 27. And those <laughs> greys are because of the previous two years of YouTube. Yeah, look at that. I think I said this last time we those, were on. Those are not GT straps. I, I think the last time we said this on the show, you came 16, out 16,000 subscribers I've got. Someone said in chat. Sorry, Richard. Um, <laughs> Go on, carry on. 16.2. <laughs> one of the best things you've ever said. Which I watch. Uh, obviously, you were doing your bad about reviewers and what they're doing. Oh, right. Um, but, and I think I think one of the best things you ever came out with with was that it doesn't matter about your, your subs or people coming in. You just do it for you. Mm. Yeah. You you actually do your reviews for you, and the whole point of being a reviewer is to stop people getting <laughs> on them stinking. I saw Richard's eyes go like that. He went, "Oh yeah, I was doing it for me. Fuck, I quit. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, see ya." The, the, the thing is, and this is truer than ever. There is literally no money in fake reviewing no. at all, and so you have to do it for you, otherwise you will go mental. Yeah. Like, do you like if you think you... of it as a job? That, yeah, that doesn't bad. pay you any money at all. Not a not a penny an hour, nothing. Then you will just go mental. So you really, just, it's got to be a hobby. It's got to be a hobby. Or else Everything. Like I was talking to, but you know, weirdly, this came up when we were just chatting between ourselves the other week. Brad was kind of we were talking about social media, and Brad said, "Yeah, some people, some people kind of, I kind of do my best, but some people are maniacs." And I put, "Yeah, fuck them guys." And then Brad went, "Yeah, you." And I went, <laughs> And I said, yeah, but the funny thing is when people send to me, people send, like, might send me something or, you know, to, to show people or send me a tag or show me, send me some stuff and people kind of, and, and then somebody shitty will go, yeah, sure, if you get it for free. Do I? Because I'm pretty <laughs> sure I work 50 hours a week and I don't get any fucking money for it. But yeah, nah, it's free. You get more yeah. money if I did a paper ad, you dickhead. <laughs> I did call I, you fucking insane for doing that. I, I, I started off with uh, juice reviews, and a lot of them I bought myself, and then um, I bought. That's how that's how everybody starts, yeah. And, and then I, I bought um, my hardware that, that I wanted to review, and but Mark obviously was like a, a reviewer as well. So Mark used to give me stuff, Santar kits from Amazon, and tanks that had been out, and I, I was just so lucky to get them. I could never do up and closey stuff. Um, I was just so lucky. And, and I'm so lucky as well to be able to go to expos and people know who you are. And I don't, I don't get loads of stuff, but I, I get quite enough to be able to go through. And it's just amazing to be able to do what you do. But the, the majority of stuff you get now is is sent to you, though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think that's just come over the years of um, being little bro. Cool. And the thing about it as well is my name caused loads of shit because... Obviously, I'm called Little Bro Vapes. 
um, a lot of people think, shit, that, that means that you're a kid. And it, well, no, I'm not a kid. The whole reason why I'm Little Bro Vapes is because I'm Mark's little bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's you're solo, the, I'm you're Little the Bro. You're younger of two. Yeah, I can't. I can't. And, and, I can't and that's what that. it is, mate. I'm so lucky to, and it's like now going on Saturday is nothing to do with um, to get stuff. That is all to me. I'm meeting one bloke for um, who's a subscriber for years. I'm meeting him. I'm walking around with him all day. Alan Orion's braces, absolute corking bloke. I'm also then meeting the lads from the Sab Show. Um, you've all been on. You, you you was actually one of the first on the Sab Show. Sab Show, weren't you, bro? Yep. So Jay's going to be there, and also Mike. So I'm meeting up with them. Uh, right, we have seven minutes for, right. for the, tonight's hot topic. <laughs> seven minutes. <laughs> uh, Why is he so down to the second? I've got it. We've got OCD. Push we're already, there, we're right. already eleven minutes over, at least, if not more. Yeah. Let's go. Set. We've got seven minutes. Go right. set, set, it up, set it up. Johnny, set it up. Johnny sat there going like that. No, no, you can't do it, Philip. <laughs> Philip, don't come out. Don't come out, Philip. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's how. That's how you do it. This is how you do it. All right. Uh, so tonight's hot topic is reviewer, manufacturer, collaborations, collabs. Ooh. So obviously, uh, I'm a guilty party here. I, I did the favour. Um, Weren't you the first? Slut. First, no. UK, first UK review. UK actually one. Yeah, yeah. I, I think actually so. keep saying the the berserker, but it wasn't the berserker, was it? No, uh, no, it's the same. Up, but it was very much so just a copy of the berserker. Um, yeah, so I've still got it. Still use it, uh, and uh, I'm very happy with all that. How that went, but we asked. Why wasn't you happy with it? I was very happy, very happy, very happy with every every aspect of that. Um, it was in. It was shockingly hard work. Um, in in the end uh, and i i didn't really realize how much work it would be and that's why i've never done another since because just Do people I still, I still actually message you and ask you to tell them that the tanks are getting really broken and uh, because then because you can't really get them now I, st I get a lot of messages asking how you get one um yeah. but they're out you know the company that made it literally doesn't exist now so yeah there's Who no was more. it no 3c they became vape life yeah uh, they make the the Rattel and they make the uh, the tube. See that people that was the time when they actually reviewed anything that came in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So right, so we asked we asked Facebook uh, earlier on, and there was a mixed response. Um, a few people mentioned the save, obviously. Um, Dave Catton is looking forward to Mark Todd's collaboration with B and Q for a new shed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Could happen, couldn't it? Uh, it's could it's one of the most famous sheds in the country, isn't it? Definitely, definitely. Gotta uh, be, gotta be. David Child says it doesn't matter if someone buys something just for a person's name and it's rubbish. That's on them. But the reviewers who review their own products as dod dodgy as hell. I must admit, I've never seen a reviewer review their own product. No, because even when Matt Colley, Matt Colley at Suck My Mod, he's done uh, collabs and stuff, but he talks through it, but he doesn't review it. He quite honestly has said, you know, it'd be ludicrous for me to say whether it's good or not. That's down to you. So, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a reviewer review their own shit. That's... But you, you've got to go back. Oh, the, the, nobody used to have tanks or all like that. I think the first one to do it was actually um, Grim Green. No, I think Cully did it first. Did he first? Mm. I don't know. I think what did Nick, was the... Nick's was the reco the original recoil was a very unique project though because yeah. it wasn't actually a collaboration. It was Nick. It they they found their own manufacturer, right? With no name, no brand, and they made them make it. Um, so that in a way that wasn't a collaboration. That was literally Grim Green, and they did really well in the end yeah, with yeah. that. Um, did you not do a review of the saver? I no. did a video showing it off. Yeah, that's, that's not the same thing. No, it's not. That's no, because that's what I was saying. How that, Cully... is that a review? No, because he's showing... Because, how... because as an outsider, I'm watching a video of it. It's a review. You did a fucking review of your own device. So, no. So I, I got a little bit from this. Right. So, you know the, the top side light? Yeah. I sat yes. there with Brian... Um, Here's the top side light, and he says, review it. 
So I, I had it for literally about a week and a half and I used it constantly. I used it in and out and how it worked. And then I did the review. And then I got a little bit of heat because he'd not actually done his interview, you know, like in, introducing the oh, video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, when I, and when I first started reviewing, nobody did introducing videos. But I got a load of heat from America because I'd done that. Now, I'm a little tiny, small UK reviewer. Yeah. I tell you what, that is not on you at all. If if it wasn't fit for public consumption, it shouldn't have been sent to you yet. Well, you gave it. You actually gave it me in in my hand. I was talking to Brian, and Brian went, "There you go, bro. Review it." Yeah. So I so reviewed it. Yeah, yeah, but if he difference. didn't, but if he didn't say after such and such a date, then what? You, yeah. what can you do? Yeah. Oh, somebody. I'm just correcting history. Somebody said Rip Trippers did a Jenny. Oh, I don't think that's true. I'm gonna say he did. Okay. He did. He did do some stuff about a Jenny with his idea in it. I can't remember oh, okay. the specifics, but he did actually work on something. Okay, he would be the first thing. Cully would be the second. I don't second. know if that counts in a way, though, because no, we're, the... we're talking about the last two years, really. The, this modern culture of high-profile reviewers. Two years though, their names When did you bring yours out? That two, years. Yeah, two, just, years, yeah, yeah. two years. Yeah. Two years. Yeah. Two years. See, I remember sitting down here on shows and nobody brought out out apart from probably Grim Green, and you were like, cash grab. <laughs> so we, we've got to now bring up, um, I'm sitting down there with uh, the wonderful In the Minds. Oh, Jay. Jay Hayes. Well, this is why this is why it's been shown to light in, in recent weeks, isn't it? Because. He's obviously had a collaboration with Vicious Ant, and it's gone bad. You know, <clears throat> they've they've fallen out, they've separated, they've gone their own way, and obviously that comes a bit of drama with it. Before that, there was the Tony B uh, saga with Vupu, wasn't there? Yeah. Um, Tony B's done loads of stuff. I mean, he's probably the most prolific collab. Yeah, him and Mike Vapes have probably done the most. Yeah, yeah. I reckon we've so. got we've got to think that when we went through that expo, Rich, you were with me. And there, there were nobody went round that stand. Yes, I know. Uh, the the thing is with Vupu, I kind of I, I felt very sorry for Vupu throughout. And if you go back maybe thirty, forty shows of the old Ideal Home show, I said the same then. Really, they were <coughs> <laughs> they they were behaving like all Chinese manufacturers were behaving at the time. It's just they'd never experienced this making something in the public eye. Use all this, all this snidey stealing bits, you know, taking <coughs> other other aspects of other people's stuff, and uh, finding out where one company made their resin doors, and going and seeking out that same factory. That goes on every time. It's just that no, never before has the process been. In oh, the public eye with yeah. a YouTuber or a social media person, I felt sorry for them in a way because they were no behaving no more shadily than any other Chinese manufacturer. Uh, but they really, they re they really suffered off the back of yeah. that fallout with uh, Tony B. Do you, do you think obviously that you sat down there and you if you watched the videos, if you, all four of you watched the videos, yeah. all three of you, sorry. Mm. So do you not? Think <laughs> How many of you had? <laughs> Fucking hell. I'm seeing doubles. So. Yeah. Go on. Sorry, carry on. Go on, go on. He's, he, what he's sitting down in there and he's saying it's coming out and the way it's working now, it's this. I know there's been other tanks that have done it, but it looks like they've just like pushed them across. And the, 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 the bit obviously that he's pushed on the heart screw, the heart strings, is obviously it's called the Jenna, mm. which is after his daughter. Yeah, I get that, but the, the, wasn't the, the Jenna right? the RDA? <laughs> Was the other one? Oh, I might have got this wrong. I think he was going to call it after his daughter, but I think Jenna was his mum. The RDA was the Jenna. I think I can't remember. I can't remember the other specific... name. It might have been another name. I'm so sorry for that. Yeah. I don't. I with the that. I'm not going to get. Well, I, I, obviously, it's been discussed in the background with loads and loads of stuff. I don't agree with either party in the in the in the V A J D. Exactly. Exactly. Both, both parties. There's, rock. there's problems with both parties. V it's let's both not forget them. for a second, Vicious Ant have a very checkered past. Really bad. They eBayed their own shit. I they, mean, fuck me. They've when done they some realized really the supply bad and stuff. demand differential of yeah. their was it called the Vicious Ant? The VA yes. 
yeah, yeah. it was the one of the first ever lipo mods yeah um where they literally put their own mod on ebay yeah and uh, lots of people literally made up fake ebay profiles and bid on it so it was up to like 20 grand for a laugh it was quite funny was, that was I no that was the uk that. six dollar jenna was his mother sorry yeah I remember those days because I was I was first introduced to Vicious Ant just as that happened. They'd come out with some really, really great stuff. It. It's not then, just... then those prices just skyrocketed because buying them secondhand was the, ridiculous. The... They made us the, the cyclone dripper they made when they were like initially like straight out the gate broke records i mean it was it was a really amazing dripper and then they went on and the, the tank uh kraken. Somebody, kraken tank yeah it was shit as a fucking jenny but if you dueled it with a uh, cotton it was great oh, i hated it but but they yeah they've been around a long but time they've had, a mix, they've had a mix yeah. pass. even that mod even it was variant is what it was called that was it yeah um, you nailed it nailed even it. the variant after they'd sold it extortionately high price when the demand suddenly went massive for it it then had a lipo issue. Had mask issues. It wasn't protected. It, swe- it, it was unprotected. It, sw- it swelled. Yeah, it was you couldn't f- put the door back on. Yeah. And all they did was provide a, a, a worse lipo battery that was smaller yeah. and fitted inside. And so they've had all kinds of drama themselves in the past. So they're by no means, uh, they're, by no means are they uh, squeaky clean on this one at all. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't think. I, I think there's no winners in that, and I don't want to back. I did back either side. I think it was really daft. I think the whole thing. We were talking about like. I think. I think you've got business. to go back to business one hundred and one, isn't it? It's business one hundred and one. Get an NDA. Exactly. Get a contract. Especially yeah. for something as precious as the name of the device. Yeah. Get some paperwork that says that whether this goes anywhere or not, this name is sacred. I'm not allowed to do it without you. You're not allowed to do it without me. Yeah. This name is, you know. Well, we've me. worked. We work. I've worked with friends, like so many times, and done different things with so many people. I did it with when Richard. I I saw the designs for Richard's tank before. I think virtually anybody. Yeah. I'd seen the things for Richard, and I know. Well, I come from a sales background, so I can think what I'm going to do. When I told Richard what I wanted to sell of his tank, he told me to fuck off. And I said, no, I want that many. And he went, you'll never sell them. Don't be stupid. And I said, no, just fucking sell them. That's how it works. Um, and I've done that with, with l- lots and lots and lots of different people. But the difference that I find is there's no reflection on anybody in the current situation. <clears throat> but I have a rule, which is I only ever, if you ever know me, I'm a terrible person for telling the truth. And I think it's really important in life that you always tell the truth between two people. If someone shows me something, it's shit. I just tell them it's shit. There's no point messing about. Oh, out, overall, right. then, we'll go around. We'll go around. Specific, yeah, that's 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 all a bit too. Go around. Okay. I've just we'll, come back from a wee. Go on. Yeah. The thing is, it's all right. You sign in a contract. But if you sit down in China, it means nothing. But it, I, I, I get that argument. But at least you have the paperwork then. You can go, look. They, it, I, I, I'm not going to be able to enforce first. this because they're in China. But look, they literally said they wouldn't put this out without me. I have this paper. That's great. Uh, it's it's uh, like yeah. just having them little space things. But you, at least you would have an official. You would have an. Yes, ofi- yeah, but you would have an official claim to the issue rather than do you do you, do do the roundabouts, Richard? That you want to do. So that's all very. That's all a bit specific. But that's why we're talking about it. What I want to know from everyone is: is it a good or bad thing? Is it a good or bad thing if? A reviewer, high-profile reviewer, works with a high-profile manufacturer to produce a vape item. Is that a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Has Name it, people. Has it, has, it, has, it, has it has it been good for has it been good for the industry or has it been bad for the industry? John, you go first. I would like. My name is John. I'm from the East Coast. <laughs> Martin. Martin. <laughs> I just. My name is Martin. Martin Johns. Um, I think it has. I, I, I've got no issue with it at all. I think if everybody's professional and knows what they're supposed to be doing within a deal, I'm uh, fine with that. I, I think there's been some great items. And I think there has been, um, I'm t- I use the word flippantly, but <clears throat> game changers within that bit. Yeah. I would extend on that and say 100% I am for collabs because we would not experience progress without mistakes, without hiccups. And whether a well-known brand works 
with a reviewer and it's successful or unsuccessful the unsuccessful ones yes it's a mistake it's that's a lesson that drives progress for the next device if they didn't make the mistakes they wouldn't be pushing the envelope um yes we might we have a solid fucking go at everyone who makes that mistake we've done it on the show many times i think there's a i think there's a high success rate with collaboration 100%, collaboration 100 the failure rate is 10 percent. show me an industry and 10 percent is a fucking thumb suck show me an industry where the failure rate is 10 percent with rough ideas doesn't fucking happen mm. much higher than that uh, aiden are you for or against them do you yeah, like them if you sit down there and look at people like yourself you go to um uh, vic mullins you go to um paul mccartney tvp you go to all these people who have, have tried everything that, that's on the market who who know what they want and what they don't like um then i think you should look at what they quite like and how they think an mm -hmm. airflow should be and how the airflow should come in how the deck should be and stuff like that i think if you don't look at these reviewers such as yourself and, and everybody else i think you're going to be blinded i agree i don't the thing that i don't like about it is is these people who put down and do a really good design and don't get the money that deserved for it yeah yeah i think there's I, th I think people sort of question why it needs to be a reviewer doing the designing and i think the bottom line is it doesn't at all any experienced vapor could be a valuable consultant on Absolutely. a new device it just happens that there's the added bonus of a built-in marketing benefit you know it just happens you get more exposure as well as consulting so the, i, I do want to add that's the thing you just get that little bit of extra traction because it's got someone's I, I want to add something of... as well. Let me just quit. Sorry. No. Don't, don't forget that there are lots and lots of tanks that people use every single day and lots of drippers that everybody uses every day that have used consultants, but it isn't part of it being released. The, the name isn't yeah. on it, but there are a lot of people who work in consultancy. I know, um, uh, I'm going to be careful, but I know Cully happy, happily says he does do that. So he does yeah, Mark do. Yeah, Todd does it. Mark Todd. There's yeah. plenty of people who just put the name. You look at so, so, he, he sat down there and put his name against stuff that he's not actually built. No, but there's people who don't put their name on the item yeah, at and all. Then the complete opposite of that, Aiden, is there's people that do loads for a product but don't put their name on it. But like don't Mark put their name Todd on it. Like yeah. That. So well, when I'm it still comes, getting a bit of pence behind the back of it though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is me. that there's lots of people. You know, if you're if you've got this thing in your mind that oh, I would never buy anything that's been done by you don't know you don't know that the thing in your hand that you love could actually have just been a consultant job I, I'm gonna go back, I, i've got to go back years when we were on the the um last of summer vapes and I, I honestly thought it was like a cash grab that somebody who used what they had it was bad but looking over the years i was wrong it's not you're you're sitting down there putting what you know about what you've reviewed yeah, and yeah. only that, that's everything in life. Every yeah. single job like, is like that. It's fine. And it's, um, and it's one and it's one of the very few re revenue streams left for reviewers. Yeah. Yeah. Did, yeah, did, yeah, you get, did you get a couple of pence from that then, Rich? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I paid for my upstairs and How come you could only get that stupid blue behind you? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm not being funny, mate. mate. I've been that absolutely... Was Wix, thank you. I've been so quiet all the way through. So that's, I've that, been that, soundproof in front of kids as well. He had soundproof. <laughs> Begging I've got for him to repaint that, that fucking yeah. room. I like it. I oh, like it's blue. great. Yeah, leave the lights. It looks like you. he's in fucking My Little Mermaid. I'm waiting for the crab. <laughs> how to swim fucking up how drunk is? I, I think tell you this blue. This blue, so right? This blue. Um, I copied off uh, Philip DeFranco, massive YouTuber. I was like, oh well, if it's good enough for his walls, it's good enough for my walls. He's got like 50, 15 million subscribers. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> the next week it's after i painted blue. this he changed, he changed it to the dark red <laughs> i really like the idea of you standing home base with a philip defranco video on pause going no don't worry just pass that pass that color thing over here yeah, just went dark blue, Bop it in. fine dark blue. john did oh. you take your mum with you yeah i did she loved it she loved um, it lads, is, is, is mum put it on the credit card lads if you don't mind just me just saying one thing and um, go for it true vapor channel 
is doing um, for Mind. Yes. On the 28th of um, March. Uh, please go and support them. Um, they're doing a bit of a raffle and bits and bobs. We all know about a mental illness. It's if you want to put a link in chat, feel free, Aiden. Go for it. True is on um, in, 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 in chat as well. And True's actually asked that we... True, put a link in. True was actually asked that we all go on. I'm not here. I would go on that because I'm quite crazy. So I'm quite happy to talk about mental health. But um, definitely. And yeah, True, we're, a big fan, and... we're big fans of mind. Yeah, yeah. Go yeah. and join. If you're not a member of the Ideal Home Show, join now and post that link on the Ideal Home Show as well. Yeah, and put, and it, we'll, in chat. And put it in chat and we'll support you. Um, I've got two things to say really quickly. Yeah, because we're, we're wrapping up right yeah, now. Yeah, we are, we are wrapped, 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 wrapping up. Um, just say, Just Add Nick is going to be closed for two weeks from tomorrow at midnight. If you if you want to order, uh, if you want to order, I, I guarantee if you order before midnight tomorrow, I will get it to you. We've had uh, that all the cannolis have just been um, restocked, as in can only be one and all that. I'm not going to go through them all, but there's like five of them. Go over there, grab it now. <clears throat> if you get there before midnight, I'll make sure it goes. Richard, what's happening next week? Because I don't even know. No show next week. No what about the show week after? Week. The week after there will be a show. Um, Banging. And uh, it's going to be an absolute belter. So, oh, no. Well, be, don't say that. Say it'll be 95% belter because I'm not on it. It's going to be a it's gonna be four point five. Vape vape. Yeah. <laughs> It's going to be amazing next week. Right. Not next week. Any- next week's going to be amazing, but for a different reason. We can't anyway, that. Uh, it's going to be superb. Uh, love so you all. Thanks for watching. Smash that like button. Uh, don't forget to change your chat to live chat so you don't miss anything. <laughs> I did realise you hadn't said that. <laughs> I'd already done it. That's the one time it's changed. Uh, Perfect timing, as always. Thanks for watching. Cheers to Aiden for coming on. Go and subscribe you, to bro. his channel because yes, uh, I, I don't watch much vape stuff on YouTube these days. I do watch Aiden because he's so much energy and he, he gets me up for it. Uh, and that's why I watch him. <laughs> so, definitely, definitely. Should we go back to doing that? Uh, uh, so, uh, definitely go and watch him. Uh, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. See you next, oh. next, next Thursday.